What's up, everybody? Welcome to Table Story Crash City. How's it going? I hope everybody's hype and ready for some cyberpunk. How's it's everybody happening. doing today? Is everybody excited? Beyond yeah. excited. Yes, yeah, right. so really. really. <laughs> I have to do a wee before the call. <laughs> you may as well go now, I guess. No, before that, I, I did it. I was too excited. <laughs> How's it going? Welcome to the show, everybody. Um, welcome to the premiere of a new show here on Table Story. It's uh, it's cyberpunk goodness, and uh, it's going to be dark, it's going to be gritty, it's going to be action-packed, and uh, I hope that uh, everybody has a good time. I hope everybody has a good time. Um, we're playing the NEW system, uh, based on the What's Old is New system. It's a futuristic kind of setting and uh i have made essentially a supplement for the new system for this for the show and uh you know eventually we get to the point where we'll we'll, we'll uh, release that for you guys and um i hope you're excited because i've been looking for this forward to this for a while uh there's literally 24 pages worth of supplement in the in the document so far without even any uh artwork really so um, once it gets more finalized, it's going to be probably even longer. Um, but why don't we go around the room? Let's introduce our players. We'll meet their characters soon. Um, but let's go around the room and let's introduce our players. Let's get started for today. I, I know a lot of people are chomping at the bit. I see a lot of buses in the chat. I want to keep those buses going all stream. I want some serious hype today. Let's make it happen. Let's make people feel welcome. Let's get people hyped for the stream. Bobby, start us off. What's up, guys? I'm Bobby, a variety streamer here on Twitch. Been taking a bit of a hiatus, but uh, hopefully I'll be back streaming within the next few weeks. Uh, I am so excited for this show. We've been putting so much work in. Like, I've been doing, putting a lot of work in. I know everyone else has too, but, like, guys, you don't understand how much WAC has put into this, so it's uh, it's going to be something else. I can't wait to get it started. Let's get going. Thank you, Bobby. Peachy? Yo, what up? Hi! Next. Peachy has spent his entire life savings on that leather jacket, everybody. I fucking love this. This <laughs> is a medium. I wear mediums now. Way. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Oh, also, if you like the music, I got a Patreon. Thanks. Yeah, um, I, I'm not joking when I say Peachy spent his life savings on that jacket, by the way. Like, seriously, go help him. Just, just <laughs> have some pity on the man. Do you go, know how many synths I bought for this album? Go, go <laughs> sub. And go 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 check out his Patreon immediately, please. Go do it. I will be releasing the OST for my Patreons directly after the show goes offline. So if Peachy if Peachy dies like IRL while we're doing this show, it's gonna really fuck up all my plans. That's all I'm saying. So I mean, just have a little bit of sympathy for me and go support Peachy. Um, thank you, Peachy. Simply? Hello, my name is Simply Jackson. I'm a variety broadcaster here on Twitch. I'm super excited for this broadcast. I know we did a serious stream of Warped my first season, but I was still getting used to you guys and everything going on. So I'm really excited to now now get into this one and be the be the nitty gritty team that we can be. Um, but yeah, I uh, I do stuff on my channel. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It's whatever. Also, I picked this scarf out thinking it was my oldest scarf I had, like it was my grandma's scarf, and then. I got told I look like Harry Potter, so let's just wizard this shit up. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't mean it in a bad way. <laughs> and and yes, yeah, simply just won a D and D tournament. She's officially better than all of us at D and D. I'm a really good bard who does bardic inspiration and runs and hides in corners. That's what I did. <laughs> That's how you bard. That is in the rule book for bards. So you did you did perfect. You did well. Uh, Pip. Hi, oh Pip. God. It's hi. And hi, it's, Pip. Hi. 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 I sound like a muppet. I, I mean, that's <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi. I'm so excited to be back. You have no idea, and I'm so excited to be back doing my favorite flavor of role play, and I'm so excited to get stuck into the system. Um, it's my first time using the system and every time I've been like, hmm, how do I do this? I've had a million pigs being like, I can help you. The system's great. Let me do this. Everybody's been so kind and so sweet considering I've been so lost. 
So it's um it's, it's good. It's good. I'm glad to be back and I'm really excited. And we're excited to have you. Pip is officially the best uh, What's Old is New user amongst us, by the way. She did her character the fastest I've ever seen anybody do their first character in, in the system. She totally demolished us. Bobby and Zagoticus are actually angry. Like, they're actually angry at how fast she did it because they are absolute, like, all about making characters in this game. They do it for fun. When they're taking a dump in the morning, it is what it is. But Pip knocked it out in like half an hour, I think. It was ridiculous. You weren't supposed to tell anybody I do that, Wack. Hey, listen, man. Everybody knows. I don't, it's, I don't think it's a secret. I don't Look, think I just take my time because I like hanging out with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie getting her laugh right for the show today. Um, yeah, so go go uh, go check out Pip's channel, please. And Pip Pip is a a uh, your your what's your official title at your job, Ooh. Pip? Uh, so I'm head of operations at a at an indie game um, publisher. So um, if you come across any games by No More Robots, please go buy them. They're all wonderful. They're all great games. If you like downhill mountain biking, we've got one for you. If you hate Brexit or are confused by Brexit or have feelings about British politics. We got one for you. If you liked the internet in the 90s, we got one for you. Uh, and if you like the idea of sending a man to his doom as he is $100,000 in debt, boy, do we have a game for you. Uh, <laughs> so go go check out No More Robots games. Go go do that. They're all they're all fantastic. Thank you. Zagonicus. Hey, everyone. I'm Zagonicus. I stream things on Twitch, and you'll occasionally see me doing some roleplay here and there. Mostly here. Possibly there. Possibly there. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you, Zagoticus. I'm Wax Steven, and I will be your GM of Doom today. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm really excited about getting the show uh, underway. Uh, we've been working really hard on it. Um, and uh, this is another wonderful show sponsored by our wonderful uh, human that, that uh, takes pity on, on Table Story and, and helps us out. Uh, the wonderful Morris, if you guys want to check out what this system is about, um, please go head on over to um, wainrpg.com. Um, where you can uh, learn about the system and go support our wonderful sponsor if you want to help support Table Story. Um, head on over to patreon.com slash morris, M-O-R-R-U-S, and morris.podbean.com where you can check out the uh, wonderful um, role-playing podcast that Morris has set up there, um, as well as listen to the MP3s from this show. Um, so if that's your, your favorite way to consume the content in the MP3 format, you can do so there. Um, go check it out, and um, I'm uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to play today. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I'm so ready. I don't know anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm like fifty percent ready. <clears throat> Give me like two more minutes. I think I'll get there. Really? Okay, we're gonna wait those two minutes in silence. Go. Let's just. I'll zoom in on Zakonikus's face. Um, no, no, we won't. Um, <laughs> okay, so Crash City. Um, Crash City is a world um, in sort of a Bermuda Triangle area of space. It's an out of the way location, far from any real major space lanes. There are still travelers that make their way through. Unfortunately, when they do, they're often sent spiraling, careening down towards the planet itself. A planet full of gravitic anomalies, a planet full of junk, a planet full of people that have fell into despair, and people that have somehow managed to pull themselves from this despair and become affluent and their huge wage disparity between them sends people into doing certain things whatever they can to make money whatever they can to survive they do it here on crash city because as most people know there is no escape at least for the majority of people 
people that live in corporate suburbia, the people that have credits, the people that have resources, the people that have versus the people that have not. Welcome to Crash City. We start the adventure with a bar. A rather affluent looking bar. Highly polished surfaces. Very fancy looking equipment all around. But there is no music in this bar. Each of our characters are sat down at the bar, bound and gagged. You are sat on stools, a shot glass placed in front of each of you. Goons, thugs, murderous looking people, well dressed, however, high quality suits, guns bulging from underneath, stand behind you. We get a shot, tight camera shot of the shot glass in front of the first character. Clear liquid is poured inside. The camera moves to the next shot glass and the next and the next and the next. The camera pans out and a beautiful woman is standing there. A very beautiful dress wrapped around her body like a snake. You can tell just from my just from looking at it that it's made from very expensive fabric. A sort of extreme contrast happening with a black and a white. Um, it's very high fashion looking. There's lots of extra bits that are sort of all put about the dress. Most people that look at it would probably laugh, but the, fas the fashion conscious and the affluent people would see this as, well, stunning and expensive. The bits that the dress reveals are quite clearly cybernetic. This woman is not hiding them. She's obviously proud of these pieces. Expensive-looking cybernetics jut from beneath the dress. You can see her legs have seams where there should be no seams on the leg. There are um, little pieces of text there that you can barely just make out. You can see that there are, um, in, there are indications that it comes from Zybin Composites, one of the mega corporations here on Crash City. It is the Cybernetics mega corporation here. And you can see that one of her arms is clearly exposed. The other one is mostly covered up by the dress. It sort of wraps around. It's tight around her hips and body. She's in a very, she has a very athletic fit build. And um, as the camera slowly sort of pans up her body, you can see her lower jaw is kind of uh, all cybernetic, and it stands out sort of starkly from her skin. It's this combination of extremely intimidating and extremely well-precisioned piece of cybernetics. She's a very beautiful woman, and she takes a lot of time to make herself up. 
Um, she has sort of shoulder length white hair with some black roots showing. This is who you see. All of you recognize this woman. She is a very famous person here on Crash City. A beautiful woman, but also an extremely powerful and terrifying woman. You recognize this as Ursula Duchess Karova, one of the warlords of Crash City. She's pouring you clear alcohol into these shot glasses. And she says, You know, you should treasure every drink that you have as if it is your very last. That is my philosophy. Especially today, I think that each of you should very much enjoy this drink. Remove the gags. And from behind you, you guys can each feel your, your gags being removed and your hands being unbound. And Duchess says, Drink up. I'm just going to drink and throw the empty shot glass at anyone nearby. I don't care who it is, as long as it isn't Duchess. Okay. Just kind of toss it. One of the goons, like, moves his head out of the way. Yeah, I reach my spindly hand out and grab the shot glass. and I sniff it first. Does it just smell of, like, very strong it Smells like alcohol. a strong alcohol. I mean, this is like a top-shelf alcohol that she's poured into these glasses. Yeah, down the hatch. <laughs> I just take a, a small sip. <clears throat>
if you are to survive the day? I put my elbows on there and sort of just like, like mimic her pose. You, you are a doctor, are you not? Some call me that, yes. You have been cutting into my business. I apologize for that. How, however, I'm simply just trying to help the people. Helping people. Helping people. So noble. Yes. She, like, turns her head towards one of her thugs, and she says, Is this not a bar? Put the fucking music on. And uh, he sort of, like, nods his head towards somebody else who kind of, like, runs off. I kind of, like, instinctively start bobbing my head. Um, so what can we do to make things right? make things right yes that is what you will do you will aid me today all of you you have your own special talents you have damaged my company at each <sighs> predictable turn and I am unappreciative of this. To rectify matters, you will assist me today with a certain job. What? I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't. The music. She slams her hand on the table in front of you, Lillian. And she says, Pay attention then. She says, I have acquired certain blueprints for a secure facility. Each of you will help me today to rob this facility. They have Who's something that I want. So before, before she has a chance to go any further, I'm gonna put my hands on the bar, I'm gonna lean forward, look at, uh, look down the line, sort of go, she says she's got blueprints somewhere that's really hard to get into and we're gonna do that and nick things oh we're, we're going, going to pick things okay, no, okay. Oh, cl close close that's probably the closest i can do i just okay oh fucking hell if i look down <laughs> combo what do you look like I look exactly like this, um, except one of my eyes looks completely sort of white milked, milky over. Those are ex expensive things to buy for cosplay, so I didn't. Um, uh, I've got like, my head looks a bit scarred. My my nose is a bit squished. Um, there's probably some dry blood around my mouth. Um, my hands are completely bound, um, but if you can sort of see a finger, there's like, cuts and band-aids on them um covered in oil I like this okay she says it is a warehouse it is a small warehouse but a heavily fortified one the business name is monarch but they are you see, meant to be rather low-key. They, uh, they process much of the findings that come from many smugglers, that come from many of the scavengers, that come from all over Crash City. There are high-quality goods there, 
there are many opportunities there. However, as I said, they are heavily fortified. She says we gotta get in and it's gonna be Fucking hard. Fucking order! Oh, okay. I, I mean, I mean, I'm just... Fucking I'm just just tell, just tell me where we need it. Okay, okay, yeah, of course, of course. I, I, I got you, I got you. As I was saying, Monarch shipping. They have several problems, which is why I have not raided them in the past. It requires a coordinated strike. That is the only way to penetrate their facility without alerting corporate security as well as their drone presence. They have an outer wall that surrounds the warehouse. They have daily deliveries, but inside there are many corp sec officers besides the normal employees if the security office inside gets the sense of any sort of robbery or problem various drones are deployed from around the facility that will handle any trespassers with extreme prejudice what kind of hardware is this court set running? Various. From what I understand, there are several heavy weapons that they have on the premises besides the drones. That is why there will be a coordinated strike. She says, I assume each of you are willing to cooperate. You get free reign of what's in there that you don't want. I only desire one piece that is inside. There was a recently recovered artifact from a crashed ship that landed approximately two weeks ago. It is a very valuable necklace. glancing at her, you can see that she's sort of she is covered in various pieces of ornamental, very expensive looking ornamental jewelry um, quite clearly some uh, very expensive stones uh, are um, part of piercings that al align through her ear, she has these sort of dangly um, diamond earrings um, and uh you can see that she is very much into the finer things in life, for sure. Can I, um, can, can I? So, you're looking for something that came off a crash, right? But just yes. one thing? That is correct. The necklace in question is extremely valuable. What does it, I've seen a lot of necklaces, lady. What, what is it? What does it look like? What does it do? Amber, I'm sure we'll know it when we see it. That is not- <laughs> That's cute! That's my wine! <laughs> That's my- <laughs> oh. Seriously. Fucking hell! I start uh, holding my head and my eyes just go real wide. <laughs> and you hear a little... <laughs> and then... <laughs> I chill right out. Huh. She says, It is worth more than anything that you would find in your scrap piles in Junktown. Oh, okay, but, it, it, but, but it's a necklace, so value is. Anyway, um, so what else is in this place? There are various pieces of goods that move through this building. That is why it is so secure. She says, I must know now if each of you is willing to 
take this job. Yeah, I mean, we don't really have a choice, do we? Will there be some form of compensation? As your friend said, I do not care about the other items in this facility, but I can assure you that there are many pieces of extremely valuable and extremely high-tech pieces that move through this place. It is kept very low-key for a reason. Many of the mega corporations that are out there, and some of the warlords as well, move goods through this place so that it is not seen by common thugs. Excuse, excuse me. I have two questions, if you don't mind. Speak up, woman. What one is... What... What time should we go and... I, I need... Tonight is bridge night. Secondly, I need to know, will we be out of your claws at this point? Will we not... What, do I not owe you anything past that? I don't... It's okay if they... If you that. bring me the necklace, all will be forgiven. Do okay. you... Do you have a plan? Of course I do. And, uh... She nods to one of the one of the guards who pulls up um, a sort of like uh, sort of tablet. Um, and let's bring you guys over here. This is the blueprint of the warehouse. She says, as you can see, there are many cameras, as well as locked doors, security doors, and motion sensors. There are many guards that are moving throughout the facility. Mm. And each of you will have your own job, playing to your strengths, of course. The guards will even want any fucking cookies. <laughs> Several of the goons start laughing, and she says, An interesting choice of words. <laughs> uh, thinking what I cook up is a little bit more app appealing than cookies. Cookies aren't good for you, anyways. Too much sugar. I mean, dudes, do they cookies? It's like. Cause this is this is garbage. Does anybody does does anybody have this this is not nice water, whoever gave me this is not Look, Duchess, do we get any start up or are we on our own? I will give you some assistance as well as some support on the mission. I will have six of my men that will assist you. She's she sort of steeples her fingers and she says sorry I'm getting messaged um, she says each of you will have your own job and she says um that shit heap you have out front. She sort of nods her head towards Combo. Yeah. She puts something down on the table um, about the size of your fist. And she says, Hollow projector. It will disguise that piece of shit as a catering vehicle. <laughs> you will make a delivery to Monarch Shipping. 
one that I am sure that they will regret later. They are catered on a daily basis. Their cafeteria is located right next to the loading dock. And we have obtained some uniforms from their catering service. You, Lucius, and Kel Solis will each be dressed as part of this catering service. While you, Skev, will be inside of a crate. Oh, my, my name's Amber. Hi! I do not care what your name is. They got names. You they are got, gutter got... filth, and that is what you will stay. Okay, but the... I need your gutter filth for now. Okay, but the guy with the shit heat got a name. Um... Uh, Amber, perhaps it's best you just listen for now. Hmm? I know. They'll keep talking, see what happens. <laughs> You're really cute, Girl Scout. Shut up. No one asked you. Please continue, Duchess. Um, do you have do you have work work for me? Duchess? Of course. You have the most crucial role out of everyone here. Of course. You see, while the three of them are delivering the catering goods also known as Ember, as well as some food supplies that will, of course, be poisoned by Lucius. You will deliver Ember inside of a crate in which she will be placed outside of the cafeteria, allowing her access to the terminals around the building. She will disable the camera systems allowing her to sneak amongst the various supplies that they have there. It will be Amber's job to locate my necklace. Um, question! I'm turning off the cameras and then going to get the necklace. That's what I'm understanding. That is correct. Okay, uh, I'm not an engineer. I, I can't do the turning off the, the, the cameras thing. That's not... She's asking me to push you around in a cart, and I use a wheelchair. Looks like we have to make it work. That's not Amber. what I'm asking you, Lillian. You will go in through the front, through reception. You see, there is an executive from Enhari Tech that is scheduled to take a tour of the facility today. That will be you. As you can see, the executive from Enhari Tech is a little bit preoccupied. She sort of like looks over to one of the side rooms of the bar, and you see this um, you see this woman uh, basically tied up and bound, um, and it looks like there are um, various torture devices that are being used on her. I like this one. Seems a little unnecessary. I mean, you never know what she did. <laughs> I think I've seen that torture device before. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to make out, but yes. So, Lillian, you will go in through the front. You will introduce yourself. You will introduce yourself as Marilyn Kinnear. Marilyn Kinnear. Marilyn Kinnear, and what is she? What the portents does she have? What is she? Background information? Anything of this sort? She will be inspecting the security facilities inside of the building. It will be your job to find the security security terminal and you will be disabling the drones she sort of passes something over the table towards you and you can see that this is um something um maybe about the size of a phone 
Um, and uh, she says, that will disable the security system. It will send a rather horrible virus throughout their security system, brute forcing its way through. Once the drones are disabled, you will then send a communication to my men. They will detonate, breaching the outside wall at the northwest and make their way into the facility, starting up a firefight. Hopefully, by this point, the poison that is delivered by Lucius, Combo, and Kelsolis will be distributed throughout several guards that have consumed the food in the cafeteria. This will weaken them, and that will allow for a smoother operation to be handled. With the security systems and the cameras disabled, it will allow you to move throughout the facility while the firefight occurs. Um, Duchess, um, do you have any poisons in mind? I would probably recommend some knockout. Uh, if, would, would you want us to supply knockout. it as well? Or, would, were you thinking something more severe? Who do you think that I am? Well, very well. Uh, do you have something more potent in mind then? She says, of course. You think I would do something as childish as use knockout? I want the guards incapacitated. I don't want them knocked out and going to sleep. Would still be knocked out, but it is your job, so whichever you prefer. So she puts, um, she puts, uh, several vials down on the table. Um, I would like you to give us the first roll here, please, Lucius. Um, please roll your chemistry plus your logic. Don't Absolutely. fuck it up, Bobby. It's the first roll. Let's go. 18. An 18 on a 5d6 tells you uh, that this is some very bad stuff. Uh, this is Reaper. Reaper? Are you sure? Of course. Do I know what Reaper is? You can give me a logic check. If you have chemistry, um, you might be able to roll that. It's significantly easier to know what Reaper is um, than identify it. Uh, an 11 from combo on a 3d6. Um, Reaper is really, really nasty stuff. Um, Reaper is a piece of pharma that uh, wounds the recipient by melting skin it comes in contact with and forces the bleeding condition on them. It usually lasts for a few minutes, and it's horrendous. Doc, um, did you just say Reaper? I scoop up the vials. How many vials are there? Um, there are, I would say, five vials. Um, normally, Reaper is injected um, in directly just a as an injection or via flechette darts. Um, this much Reaper could probably be placed on... Um, a good supply of food to poison people pretty bad. I'd say the effects are, are probably diluted slightly, but uh, still horrific. Okay. Yeah, I'll just put those in my uh, medical bag. Is, is, are, are our belongings by us? Or are they, did they take our No, they took else? your belongings for sure. Did you answer me when I asked about Reaper? No. Um, yeah, that was that was the answer. Um, so I said, so as Duchess, um, she says, yes, this is Reaper. I want that necklace. Do you understand? I don't give a fuck. Hmm. So we're... 
I think we can do this, but uh Amber, are you confident with your job? <laughs> well, you know, finding things is what I am not so sure about the game. But uh, once I'm on the trail or something, that's fine. Is there any um have we got any idea where it might be, where they might be holding it? I, I mean it's if you can't turn off the cameras then well that's a problem for the Duchess. It'll be fine. Have a little faith. Uh, no, if there's problems for Duchess, then I glance over to Duchess. <clears throat> I then said problems for uh, us. Uh, uh, I I said have a little faith. Look, we can't turn off fucking cameras. There'll be drones. We just kill no, fucking. I'll turn you off in a minute. Stop. Fucking try it. <laughs> you don't want to go. Well, fucking go, go Sparkle <laughs> Tip. I got to pull out my knife, but it's not there. Fuck. I will tear you apart, friend. Let's not, let's not start fighting. You couldn't tear apart a fucking baguette. <laughs> You're really cute. You're my favorite. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Duchess. And ignoring the entire commentary, William goes to find her wheelchair. Uh, I'm going to nope. get up and help her the second she starts. Uh... My 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 question: are, Do we know maybe where it's being held on, in the facility? Looking at this. Of course not. That is what is for. That is what the terminals what? are for. I just wondered if you know you'd had any insight. But if it you has many else... goods moving throughout the facility, you will have to find it. I understand. You need get to fill. I'm on it. I got you. I promise. Excellent. <laughs> she places. Um, she places like uh, earbuds down on uh, on the, the, the countertop. Uh, communicators, planetary communicators. And she says, these are attuned to the same frequency. You will be in communication with myself and my men. And she says, I recommend that you do not fail me or double cross me. She says, when there are people that double cross me then I get involved personally and for the first time you see from her forearms you see what something that looks kind of like praying mantis claws start to detach from her forearms these sort of like scythe blades that sort of protrude in a in from a cybernetic extension that sort of like come out and they have this sort of long scythe like blade on the end and she says i would hate to get involved i don't, I don't like to dirty my clothes i, I don't think it would be necessary. that'll be a problem i think it'll be Okay, when are you planning to start the job? She says, right now, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go when you guys are. Perfect. The appointment is scheduled for Marilyn Kinnear in one hour. This warehouse is located uptown only about 10 minutes away from here. May I have my gun back? I will I will need my equipment as well if you don't if you don't mind. Your equipment will be given back to you. My she men a wheelchair. My men will also assist placing the hollow projector on your shit heap outside. <laughs> Is everyone clear on their tasks? I merely stand up. Yes, Lucius and I will take the cargo inside and then... It is important that you not poison the food until it is ready to be served. You can do this, yes? 
It's within my capabilities, yes. You know the effects that the Reaper will have if it is placed on the food too early. I do. Right, but you need to give me some time to be able to, you know, shut things down, look for what I'm looking for, get to where I'm going. So you guys got timing for that, right? We should we should be in communication with the air pieces that she gave us. So when when I I'll let you know when the security drones are down, and then you should be able to get in and do your job. Can we fucking point. go. Oh, uh, one you, more thing. Is right. your car fast? Was it chaos? Was your thing? I'm sorry. Combo. Com combo. I'm sorry. Do you have a fast car? I have a car. Okay, I will ride with combo. Thank you. Oh, will you? No, you will be riding in the limousine that we will provide. Appearances must be kept. Thank you. Even One better. of my men will escort you into the building and then leave waiting in, outside in the vehicle. That's perfect. It's no offense. K Chaos comp combo. No offense. I'll ride in the limo now. Thank you. Okay. Once we have your item, we'll take it back into combo shit heap and return here, I assume. Or do you have another meeting place in mind? We will not come back here. My men will give you instructions once the item has been taken. Until then, all other information will be on a need-to-know basis. May I ask one more question? Do you have an official uniform for a security inspector? Maybe the one that that lady was wearing before she's thoroughly poked and prodded? Yeah, she's basically, you can see she's like in her underwear and they're just, they've got like, like whirring devices, like, you know, you hear like horrible torture implements being enacted. It just might be helpful for me to convey that I need to look at their security. Yes, I believe that you are the same size. Rather convenient. Roughly, yes. yes. Okay. <sighs> then let's get going. Oh, one Bend more thing. Would we perhaps maybe be able to get some klepto as well for Amber? Please give me a charisma check plus your... Do you have negotiation or anything that might help you here? Like that, just straight charisma. Straight charisma. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna spend two luck die on this. <laughs> okay. That. Oh. Okay. And two. It's a die. nine before the luck die. Okay. 15. An additional six puts it at a fifteen. Um. She says. Very well. Uh, she hands over uh, some klepto, which uh, Amber, you know really well. Um, klepto is uh, a pill that grants you an additional 1d6 to sleight of hand and thievery checks for 1d6 hours. Can I have them? Can I have them now? Can I? Can I? Can I have them? You have to wait to take them, Amber. We've had this conversation once before. I I know, but 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 you've got so many now. I I kind of I feel like I should be prepared and ready to go. And I'll and... hold on to them for now, and I put them into a pocket in my uh, in my coat. Before you need them, I will give them to you. I note I... exactly which pocket he just put the farms in. No, I get it. Okay, I, I get it. I, I understand. That's that's fine. That's okay. It's for the best. I know. I know. I'm just gonna do 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 a good job. Mm -hmm. You always do. Mm -hmm. um, is that all? Let's put me in a box. <laughs> There's a smile on Duchess's face for a second, 
and she says, Yes, we will. And, um, yeah, you guys get, uh, uniforms, you get your ear, your, your planetary communicators. Um, so you guys can add, uh, Kelsolus, Lucius, and Combo. Each of you can add a, um, do, do, do. Um, sorry, let me get the name for this corporation. Um, you get, um, a subsidiary of Provitog, uh, ODS, uh, catering, ODS catering uniforms, Lucius, Combo, and, um, Kelsolus, you guys can each add that uniform to your equipment, your inventory, um, and... Are they like overalls? Yeah, they're like a, they're like a jumpsuit, like a one... You know, like a zip up from the crotch kind of dealy. It's uh, I think it's like a basic white, probably like a basic white uh, sort of jumpsuit kind of thing. Um, and the embro it's got like an embroidered name on the on the chest um, for for ODS uh, catering. Does it say like underneath the ODS what the name of like what ODS stands for? Um, no, it just says ODS Catering. Kelsolus? Yes? Do you know this ODS Catering? What does it stand for? Give me a logic check. Local knowledge, maybe, if you got it. An eight. Yeah, I've never heard of it. It's some small subsidiary company there's a lot of these that are kind of all throughout the um all throughout crash city i uh don't generally get catering myself so i don't know well, it's worth a try probably doesn't stand for anything anyway knowing this city hmm could be okay so make fucking sandwiches hmm. well, lucius are we are we really going to poison these people? I'm debating on diluting it quite severely. If the video feeds will be cut, which I'm sure they will be, uh, maybe we can make it a little bit uh, lesser on them so they don't have to suffer quite so much. Shouldn't you like just the give them fucking more so they die quicker? I'd prefer them not to die at all, to be honest. Well, they're going to fucking die. It's Reaper, your bell end. They won't necessarily die, but the left. problem is if you dilute it, it may not work, right? And even if it does work a little, if they don't die, Dot just might be displeased with that outcome. Well, hopefully they don't die. I'll try and monitor them the best I can after they uh, are suffering from it. But we may need to uh, make that sacrifice just to ensure our own survival. Not my first choice, but... Why do you fucking care? They're corpse sick. They'll fucking shoot you as soon as they see you. Yeah, well, we should at least give them the chance. They're people. Like to us. shoot oh, well. you? They will I not think... shoot us. Muppets. I think, I think, Lillian, are you ready to go, sweetie? I'm can Ursula, can I ask one more question, please? I know that your people are very skilled at what they do, very skilled. Um, but I have a personal bodyguard who has worked with me on many missions that I would like to call for my security. With this ride and escort through the building, I will, we will stage him as I'm training him, if you don't mind, but I've worked with him many times. Can I ask if you can come along instead, please? Please give me a charisma per plus persuasion. Do you have what? What would you have that might help you here? Lillian? I want to use the I know people exploit. So you wouldn't be able to use that exploit right now. You're okay. trying to convince her to help you first before you okay. can actually give yourself a contact. Yes. 
Um, and uh, let's see. What could you help? You could give me negotiating plus your uh, charisma. Sure. I can tell you right now, it's not going to be easy. It's okay. My negotiating is slow. Can you? Well, no, I can't bribe her. Okay. Nope. <laughs> She's gonna say nope. <laughs> what did you get? It didn't pop up for me. Oh, it didn't? Oh, weird. I have it as a pop out. Oh, got it. Oh, 18. 18 on a 5d6. Um, she says. Can I, can I use my old exploit in order to reroll that one? Ooh. Or? Once per day when rolling a dice pool, you may declare it to be a careful dice pool. This allows you to roll the dice pool twice, taking the highest result. Um, so I believe this is um, this is the whole roll. It's not just the one. But I can roll it twice and take the highest. Yeah, well, I mean, you're, you're rolling the second time here. And yeah. now between no, the I'll two. No, I'll take this one. 18, I think, is okay. I don't okay. want to risk it. <laughs> I'll keep it just in case. Okay, I mean, basically, you can use that right now. You just you take the higher of the two. Okay, sure. It's up okay. to you. I don't know if I want to use it later. But, I'll... yeah, that, that's the point. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, I'll save it if I have to convince anybody to inside stuff. Sorry, guys. I made a delay. I'm excited about old people stuff. <laughs> and before we go, is there anything kind of lying around that looks particularly useful? Useful. Uh, that depends on your definition of the word useful. I mean, um, my, de my definition of the word useful is kind of like <laughs> junk that I could vaguely wedge a door open with. So, um, but... I mean, this is a bar, right? So, like, there's uh, there's um, all kinds of, like, uh, this, this is a fancy bar, too, by the way. This is, like, an expensive bar. So, I would say that there's... I mean, where you guys are right now, I mean, you're just off of, like, this is, like, a VIP bar area, like, where you guys are right now. It's kind of in the back. There's a main bar room area that's, like, way more active. Um, it's probably about, I would say, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. or so right now. So the, the main bar is, like, hopping. Like, it's crazed. There's tons of people that are dancing away and, and drinking like crazy and doing all kinds of drugs there. If I notice her scoping it out, I want to help her by turning to the thugs and holding up the, the hollow thing. Which one of you fuck nuggets are going to install this for me? And I just like throw it at the group of people. Um, so were there any like small bottles of, of alcohol? Like, you know, the little dinky bottles? I'm Are trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Like this place is kept pretty clean. I don't know if there would be just stuff lying around. Um, like you'd have to go behind the bar to do that. Um, and they've kind of put you guys into like a um, uh, like a small like booth area to sort of change and do whatever. Um, okay. In that case, are there are there like dinky bottles behind the bar? There's definitely small bottles of alcohol behind the bar. Great. So, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is not, this is not going to go well in the slightest. Uh, mm. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me, let me just, let me just work this out. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of motion to, to Lucius um, and to Calsolis and kind of go, hey, um, can somebody just show me really quickly? Um... Did we lose Pip? Is she okay. We lost, we lost Pip. Pip. Oh, no. Four <laughs> minutes. Four minute countdown. <laughs> now go. Hey, Wag, <laughs> could you tell me if my role was successful against Ursula or unsuccessful with Ursula, convincing her to bring along my bodyguard? Uh, yeah, so she basically, I mean, she, she sort of, she just kind of shrugged you off, like she said, um, definitely not, we are not bringing in any more personnel into this mission. Oh, that's okay, thank you for considering it, I appreciate that. Hello! Hi! Hi! So you cut out right as you gave us the aliens pose. 
Okay, good. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, point at, at, at Lucius uh, and Castellus and kind of go, hey, so with this replay getting ready, um, let me come and help you guys with that really quick so we can set up and we can be quicker then on the job. Um, and I'm gonna look at them and then I'm gonna kind of walk them out behind the to behind the bar. Um, yeah, give me a um, give me a stealth check uh, or some sort of bluffing out. check. I was going to say bluffing. Yeah, you can give me like a bluffing uh, okay, check plus okay. your uh, plus your charisma. So I just press the button next to bluffing, right? And it's going to do it. Yeah, as long as the pull down says uh, charisma in there. Yes, it does. Yep. Uh, Sorry, Wack, did my help action go off? Your help action? Yeah. I didn't hear yeah, that. Yeah, you're just going to um, distract some of the, the guards that were around where I was doing stuff with the hollow doodad. Okay, so a 17 from Amber. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, combo, um, how are you trying to do this distraction? What are you doing? You're so just... I, I address all the thugs. I call them fuck nuggets. <laughs> And I just toss the hollow thing up in the air towards the general area of where they are standing. Okay, give me a um, give me an intimidation check. I think plus uh, plus your charisma or reputation. Do you have intimidation? No. So just charisma. Yeah, just charisma. <laughs> That's a double one. <laughs> Peachy, starting this campaign off right. Welcome to the show! Can we get some ones in the chat, please? Surely that's really good for me, right? Because they're now all looking at him and laughing at him, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's how dice work, definitely. That's um, how that works, yeah? Yeah, so uh, I think what happens is... Um, it, they're, they're intently watching you. Or, like, Duchess would have given everybody the lowdown on you specifically um because you are the you are you are the sort of the thief of the group i think that she's definitely watching you kind of intently so combo like as as, the, as you toss this thing over towards the guards um one of them kind of grabs it and just kind of shoves you to the ground and um while that happens and uh, amber's kind of like backpedaling towards the bar um, you just kind of back into a, a thug that you did not see before. It's like a wall of meat behind you. And he says, Where do you think you are going, little one? Um, actually, I don't know if you noticed. I'm just skinny, not little. That's really awful. How dare you? Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I'm going to complain about that very loudly. Also, my friends here and I need to get ready for our mission. So we're going behind the bar to double check the Reaper and to make sure we've got enough for what we need in the right consistency. Get like with I your always... friends. And they just kind of like shove you out of the way. Back I need toward... a work surface. Excuse you. Excuse you. Um, yeah. The, you, you, you're, you're, uh, you're very tall and spindly, but this guy is kind of like... He's still pretty tall. He's probably like 6'2 or 6'3 and like really buffed. And uh, he just kind of like shoves you kind of roughly out of the way. I'm going to look him in the eye and go, I don't like you. I don't, I don't like you. Hmm. Hmm. No, no. I, oh. Amber, what, what are you, what are you trying to do? No, I need to, I just need to get behind there because there's a tool I oh. need. And also I need to help you. Make sure that the Reaper's all ready to go. I always do this, you know let's, this. Uh, let's leave the Reaper to Lucius. Hmm? He's most qualified, I think. But but you but you always I always help you. you you're you'll have your chance to help. The the whole job basically hinges on you, no pressure. But if you fail we all die, so Again, no pressure. I mean no look I'm going to look back at the guard who pushed me and go, you hear that? No pressure. When my lack of being able to take things from behind that bar costs us this mission, you know whose fault it is? It's yours. <laughs> I don't think that Duchess will see it that way. <laughs> I will. 
I get up off the floor and I just stand like where I was in front of this gun, just look at him. Uh, I think we're all dressed now. Can we get our gear? I need to be in a box. Mr. Goon. Yeah, they've Never. um they've probably given you your gear. Um and uh and they've uh they've kind of like they've kind of got like a crate ready. Um you can see there's sort of like trays of different kinds of of catered food and whatnot. Um I think the very popular foods here on Crash City tend to be um, based on a lot of vermin. Uh, there's a lot of vermin that run through Crash City for sure. There's there's uh, there's a very popular sort of vermin that a lot of people enjoy uh, called Scurrier, um, and it's uh, yeah it's kind of it's kind of like a a cross between a um, I think kind of like a cross between a rat and a pig, something like that. Yes, yeah, it's like a big, fat kind of looking rat kind of creature. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the crispy, crispy scurrier legs are a, uh, a really popular treat. Hmm. Um, so there's a lot of different kinds of, uh, dishes and things that are all kind of catered here, um, in various containers and whatnot to be sor served in kind of like a buffet fashion. Okay, Amber, can you get? I, I'm, I'm ready to go. I, I get the empty crate, right? Not the one full of food. That'd be gross. Mm, I no. think you're fit. No, no, I'm, I'm really tall. I'm really tall. Why does... You don't have to... Just get in a fucking box, Sparkle Get in a fucking box! Yeah, you know your feet. Get in there. Take the klepto if that will be some sort of incentive. Just yes, don't please. take it. Yet, okay. O okay. Okay. I'll take it when I get there. Just before. Mm, mm. Yeah. 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 Lucius, will you help me to my chair? I believe it might be outside. I don't know. Absolutely. Uh, Kelsolis, would you mind giving me a hand? Of course. Thank you. Yeah. We'll head over and, and help her get to her chair. Okay. So you guys um, kind of gather yourselves up and uh, Amber, you get you get shoved into a crate. That's one of the belter exploits that belters get. Belters are very tall and spindly. They come from uh, growing up in, on basically on asteroids with very low gravity. Um, uh, they sort of lean towards very tall and very uh, gangly sort of body type. But also very foldable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they can sort of fold themselves into pretzels, basically, um, fitting into very small sort of containers. It's an actual exploit that they have. Uh, what is it called? Flexible. Belters can contort themselves into usual, unusual positions and fit into the smallest spaces. When restrained by somebody not trained in belter restraint techniques, they can escape in one minute. If the captor is aware of this, they can make an opposed logic versus agility check to nullify this ability. So yeah, you get shoved into a crate. Um, as, soon as, as soon as I get shoved in the crate, I take the klepto. Like the second the lid snaps shut on me, <laughs> I'm taking the klepto. All right, roll me a 1d6, please. Of course. Um, da, 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 no, that's not how you do that. That's how you do that. Four. Okay. Four. So the klepto is going to last for four hours for you. Ooh. That's a lot of stealing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how do you think the klepto feels for you? Like, what? 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 How do you feel when you take it? It's a pill, um, so it probably does take at least, you know, ten to fifteen minutes maybe to take effect. So klepto is um, the sort of epitome of vibrating into another dimension. Um, it's like a child that you've force-fed sugar for three days and they've just exploded. Um, you get little tiny tremors here and there, um, little flashes of colour out the side of your eyes, and it's like time slows down. It's like you perfectly have time 
to do everything and look everywhere and you can take everything in your stride and while to the outside world it looks kind of frantic um and um very very sort of quick and distracted it actually feels to you very measured because you feel like with this slowdown you have the perfect amount of time to look around and to pick things up and to check them over before anybody's even blinked oh yeah it's especially fantastic for people that like to steal things hence the name um and uh, you guys sort of get set up. Uh, you head to Combo's shit heap, which has been parked outside. Let's take a look at that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You guys should be able to see this. There we go. Doesn't I'm have so the, glad Amber can't see it. it That's a spicy car. It doesn't I'm so have, glad Amber can't see it. It doesn't have the guns or the spikes on it just yet. Maybe after combo get some upgrades for it, but uh, for now, I think the m most of the body kind of looks that way. It's definitely a scavenged vehicle for sure. It looks like some of it was probably belonged to a Land Rover Discovery at some point. <laughs> yeah, it's very boxy, um, and uh, yeah, I can fit a bunch of people in it, um, and. Uh, as you go out, um, Duchess says, um, Now, just to be clear that everyone is doing the right thing on this mission, I will state once more what will be happening. Combo, Lucius, and Kelsolis, you will be driving this shit heap through the vehicle entrance. You will meet with the guard station, telling them that you are making a delivery and that you have the catering supplies that you will bring around to the back loading docks. You will drive your vehicle along the designated path to the back where you will park back here when you deliver the supplies you leave one of the crates outside of the cafeteria out of the line of the cameras there is a spot that we are aware of that the cameras will not be able to see directly behind this location located right here Is it a hard copy map or is it um, a digital reader? It's a, it's a tablet. And uh, she says, Can I, can I, I want to try and uh, hold my hand up with a tablet so I can see? Where it's... Yeah, she sort of hands it over. And I, I want to check the easiest way to get to there from the main gate. The main gate is located down on the, um, on the southeastern portion. Um, and the whole facility is surrounded by a wall. Sorry, I'm trying to get that on the stream, guys. It's kind of in a weird spot. Um, yeah, so, um, the, the, the vehicle entrance is here. And there's various, like, this is the corporate, uh, this is the, the building, uh, parking, obviously, for the employees. And then, uh... Basically, loading gets done in the, the back portion here, and there's two small loading areas here. She says, um, the main entrance is out front here, and uh, approximately three minutes after you enter the facility, Lillian will be dropped off for her meeting as Marilyn Kneer. Once she makes her way inside, while that is happening, you will be making your delivery into the cafeteria located here. Right here. Someone will get their attention while Lucius poisons the food. Uh, I, so I want to take a mental note of A, where we come in, B, where I need to turn, where I need to park, and C, the direction where if shit goes wrong they're gonna come from so that's like straight ahead of uh, here right 
Okay, so I've marked with red X's on the map, uh, those things. Um, why did that have a weird shadow? That's funky. It's got dynamic lighting. <laughs> no, no, it's it's for some reason it decided to fill the object. I don't know why. Um, I can't select it, of course. It's just way too hard for Roll20 to comprehend. Um, so anyway, the, um, the, the vehicle entrance is located here. Um, sorry, let me try and zoom out, Chad. It's a really hard map to get all in the frame here, guys. I'll do my best. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's the vehicle entrance down, down here. The location where you park is right here. Cafeteria is here. There's a little note next to the door that says cafeteria, by the way. Um, and, uh... They're not sure where the security station is for you, Lillian. You'll have to find that. Um, and um, mm, Amber, you will be dropped off here with your crate. Um, you're, you're abnormally quiet, Amber. What were you trying to say? No, I got, I got it. I got it. Um, I was just asking uh, Wack to show it again, but then I realized that I'm dumb and it's a giant red cross. Well, uh, there is... Once the guards have been poisoned and the security systems have been disabled, that is when my men will detonate a hole in the wall here at the northwestern portion of the map where they will breach through the loading dock area here creating a firefight, an opportunity for you to get the necklace and get something for yourselves as well. Yeah. Is everyone clear? Um, Perfectly. Mm, yes. Yeah, drive in, poison some people, steal some shit, get the fuck out. Don't die. Excellent. Lucius, will you hand me the rest of my very graciously poured shot by the Miss Ursula? Thank you. What did you say? N Everyone so goes sorry. quiet. What did you mm. say? What did I'm you sorry. call me? Mrs. Karova, I'm so sorry. That name... Even the guards go quiet. They start to look at you, Lillian. Sure, she said. Duchess, Some, yes. I'm sorry. I don't normally drink alcohol. I was. It's very weird for me. Hey, I'm not medication anymore. I, I'm sorry. You can Apologies, see. Duchess. You can see the forearm blades that are retracted start to twitch a little bit. Uh, let's uh, get everything loaded up and let's. Uh... She walks in close to you, Lillian. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. She gets behind your wheelchair, puts her hands on the back and sort of on your shoulders. She leans down to your ear and she says, Right now, I need you to get this job done. But I want you to understand something very clearly. I am... The Duchess, if you are ever stupid enough to call me by that name again, I will do far worse things to you than what was done to the woman in the room. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Duchess, I... I, very clear. Thank you. I think I will leave a reminder for you. Um, as she draws her hand back, she makes a um, a slice across your shoulder with her forearm blade. Quickly. Oh. Something to remember me by. Definitely an unforgettable purchase. Excellent. As long as I am clear, 
she starts to um, walk away and she nods her head towards the chair. Um, you get sort of loaded into the limousine that she has um, prepared for you. It's a very expensive black sort of um, very sleek looking kind of limo. Um, basically, if you took sort of uh, like a, a Mercedes limo n- from like now and just maybe flattened it a bit to sort of turn it into somewhat of a sports car kind of look almost, right? A bit wider, um, and it's just kind of, um, well, it's it's significantly sleeker than a sort of normal limousine. Um, and... Uh, you all sort of see this happen. She's not really trying to hide it or anything. She does sort of hide her words, though, to Lillian as she does this. And um, she says, Do not fail me. I don't take disappointment well. And uh, she walks away. And the- quickly uh get over or get back over to uh the wheelchair and, and just quickly tend to the wound on the browner back and just clean it up um does it look like it's deep enough to require stitches yes definitely this is going to need to be stitched up thank you dear lucius you're always too kind uh do we have time to do this i might be able to do it quickly before we need to go I believe so. She said the ride was. Oh, she said the ride was only ten minutes away. We have an hour's time to get there. Okay. Well, just sit still, and I'll uh, I'll get to it right away. Might hurt a little bit. I don't have. No, I'm tough. You know me. I'll handle it. Okay. Well. What does Lillian sort of like look like for everybody else? Um... Lillian is a feeble woman, about seventy years old. And tends to shake slightly. Um, she, uh, has a very long face riddled with moles and freckles along her cheeks and upper forehead. Uh, she has large brimmed round glasses. She pulls her hair back in a bun all the time and is never seen without a scarf. And that's her. She's just the old, the old lady. It's a rickety, rickety old lady. She also rides in a wheelchair. She can walk just exponentially slower, um, and requires a lot of help, so... She'll use a wheelchair mostly. Okay. Um, Lucius, uh, let's see. Um, surgery? Yeah. Um, give me a surgery plus your... Take your kidneys out. Plus, uh, plus your agility. Rude. Sure. <laughs> They're not good anymore anyways. Calm down. It's still worth a couple of credits. 16. Okay. 5d6. Yeah. Um, it, it's not a lot of stitches, maybe like five of them or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, she definitely needed some stitches. Um, and, uh, and you sort of, do you have any sort of painkillers or anything to help? You've got a medical no. bag, right? No, no painkillers. I, I probably, I would have wiped it down with like, um, some sort of, uh, basic wound cleaner, um, quickly just well, to sanitize a, it. You have a medical bag. And I believe that the medical bag contains several different uh, several different components for various things, and I think there are some painkillers in there. Okay, yeah, um, if that's the case. I'll I'll give her. Yeah. Uh, it, did, would you say it would be like a like an injector or just tablets? Yeah, or? it's an injection. It's a local anesthetic, probably that you that you have to deliver there. Okay, yeah. So I I take that out and I just shoot you up with a, a little painkiller. That should help with the pain. Um, just you. watch your movements. Um, just to not open the stitches up. It should be fine after a day or two. Thank you. I'll, thank you. I'll find a way to pay you back. No need. Okay. Um, so is anybody doing anything else before you set out on this mission? I'm watching, like intensely watching the um, whoever's installing this thing on my car. Yeah. Um, it's basically getting sort of hooked up um Underneath, there's probably like a somebody had to jack up the car and uh, and sort of uh, place place the hollow projector underneath so that it's not easily um, detected. 
and um yeah the the vehicle sort of rattles a little bit as it's as it's uh jacked up and uh the hollow projector gets sort of placed on there's a magnetic kind of like clump as it gets placed into the sort of central portion of the chassis oh it's uh, like a mag lock it's not yeah. something we have to install. yeah yeah and then uh yeah once it's once it's activated um the the person the the guy that installs it um sort of says uh the battery will last about two hours before it burns out uses a lot of power hollow projector will be worthless after that Hmm. Yes. You're muted. What did you what did you say? Finish fucking with my car now. Should be all done. It's not like it matters anyway. This thing's a shit heap. Uh, I pull out my knife. You don't call it a fucking shit heap! If you can't click your fingers and kill me instantly, you don't call it a fucking shit heap. <laughs> Just kinda laughs as uh pulls the jack out from the car and it just kind of like <clears throat> lands on the tires the suspension sort of rattles a little bit as it falls back down I go up to one of the like rusted and there's probably like some bullet holes in it and some of the metal is torn off and, and I just like pull out my sleeve <laughs> <laughs> like horribly destroying your jacket like in yeah, the process yeah it's just ripping off parts of it um yeah, um, and as you're doing that, you see like a boom, 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 boom. There's like a strange like um, uh, hologram that starts to encompass the the uh, vehicle, and it starts to look like a sort of box van, right? Like a sort of longer box van. Um, you can see can it's I all. I turn this on and off when I want. No, it just stays on for about two hours. We didn't rig up any sort of on and off switch. So we only need it for about two hours then? That's how long Duchess ordered it to last. Well, uh, we best get going quickly. Here's all the time we have. Oh, I get in. Inside it looks uh, like the, the driver's uh like the 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 inside cab um sort of like looks nicer but like as you sit down you can kind of feel like how shitty the seats are like they're just you know there's probably like that spring that's like poking you in the lower back or something well uh, the driver's seat has one of those bead things on oh it God. And a pillow on it <laughs> <laughs> the rest the rest of it <laughs> you can probably feel some of the dried blood when you sit down in the back yes dried blood this is disgusting combo. What? I think your upholstery needs touching up as well. I fucking touch you up, Muppet. That's not very nice. Mm. I'm not very fucking nice, Doctor. Get in the fucking car. I like that. Doctor. You call me that more. Thank you. I grumble a bit. I'm going to grab my bag and grab the Reaper and, and put the vials of reaper into like a like section of the bag specifically meant to hold like the vials and so it's like kind of padded um and i'm going to take one of the vials and kind of look it over and can i do some like like a chemistry check to see if i can figure out how to put this chemical into food while making it like as tasteless as possible sure in a little bit um but you guys kind of set out from the bar and uh you are heading on the way to the Monarch Shipping Warehouse. Uh, when I start um, my car, which you'll find out what it's called soon, um, like all the exhausts, there's some exhausts that come out the side. One of them's kind of bent and just pokes out from underneath and like flames shoot from it. And it sounds fucking awful when it starts up. It's like... <laughs> and then it just settles to a low rumble. Fair enough. Um, the car turns over eventually, and, um, you are on your way heading towards the Monarch Shipping 
warehouse. And this is where we're going to take our first break. We'll be back in a little bit, guys. Stay tuned for more Crash City and listen to the wonderful tunes that Peachy has put together for this awesome show. We'll be back in a little bit. Make sure you follow all these wonderful people. Let's get the Crash command in the chat. Go give them a follow. If you have a Twitch Prime that you haven't used yet, please consider using it for one of these wonderful people. So many people don't use their Twitch Prime subscription. They're not aware that Amazon Prime equals Twitch Prime. You just have to link them up. Go use it on one of these wonderful people, please. Make sure you follow them. Make sure you follow this channel. And please, if you want to support the show, Table Story in general, go support our wonderful sponsor. Head on over to uh, patreon.com slash morris, where you can uh, go give him some love and, and check out his uh, wonderful role-playing podcast over at morris.podbean.com. And uh, go... Go listen to the MP3 version if that's easier for you. We'll be back in a little bit, guys. Stay tuned for more Crash Cities premiere episode. Back in a little bit. Peace.
Welcome back, everybody, to Table Story Crash City, the new cyberpunk adventure that we are just now uh, getting started with today. How's it going? Welcome back. Um, we jump right back into things as the gang heads away from the bar, the, uh, the bar belonging to Duchess, uh, the overlord, one of the uh, warlords here in Crash City, I should say, and... Um, they are heading to the Monarch Shipping Warehouse, um, where Duchess has given them a task to find a certain necklace. Um, very, very valuable necklace located in this warehouse. Um, and off they go. They've been given a sort of intricate plan to make all of this happen. Will they pull it off? Who knows? Who knows? Um, but... You guys uh, make your way to the warehouse. There's a comms check that kind of runs across. You hear um, you hear one of uh, Duchess's thugs sort of pipe into the comms, and you hear um, ch -ch -ch. comm check, comm check, one two three, comm check. Four. What comes next is four. You muppet. Mm. Uh, we're receiving you. Six. I do hear you. Hmm. Seven. Uh, Combo, when we get there, uh, let me do the talking, okay? Can't be fucking asked anyway. Do whatever Let's the go. fuck you want. I'm a driver. Good. Uh, although I'm really good with people. You have your charms. <sighs> okay. Uh, as we're driving there, um, for one, is there any music playing in the in the vehicle? Do yes. you have music on? Okay, so the fact that there's music on, I'm just going to sit down in, in the back seat with just my eyes closed and just focus in on the music and uh, just recite some some uh, some scriptures to myself. And I'm going to recharge two luck die. Spend five minutes, half the trip there, recharging my luck die. Okay, no problem. 
Um, you also said that you wanted to try and see something about the pharma that you've got. Yeah, I would, I'd do that after I after the five minutes after I was finished praying. Okay. And um, I would just do a check to see if I could figure out a way to mask the, the taste of the food or if there would be one specific dish that would be best to put it in. I mean, I'd probably have to put it in everything, but... Um, I won't really make you do a roll for that. Um, you know, if it's a buffet-style thing, judging from the amount of pharma that you've been given... Um, everything. Yeah, you kind of have to put it on on each of the sort of platters of food that, that will be put out. There's some spicy roast scurrier. Um, and I think as far as, like, vegetation goes on this planet, there's a lot of, like various mushrooms and things that grow um and sort of various kinds of like lichen and moss and things like that there's not really any trees or anything that grow here there's a few bushes and a few various like plants and things um maybe some like root vegetables of some kind uh they're probably some sort of weird turnip um and uh I would say that's about it in terms of, like, plants and things. The farms that are here uh, are controlled by a mega corporation known as Provitag. And, um, yeah, they, they're sort of, they sort of, uh, they've got, like, protein farms and stuff with various, like, bugs and insects and things. And they've got, um, they've got, uh, they've got a few, like, vegetable farms they have to be sort of very resilient vegetables that grow here so i think that they're probably um they're probably very bland i guess when you eat them um in general like they have to be heavily spiced so as far as spice goes if there's any if there's any like crashed ships that that make their way to the planet if they're carrying any sort of spice or anything, those are like highly prized, and it's generally pretty expensive for various spices and things. Um, there's probably, I would say, a decent amount of salt, but other than that, it's, that's there's really not a lot on the planet by itself. Um, there's maybe some very, like, hot sort of spiciness uh that can happen uh some local plants that might grow some sort of vines or something that can be ground up for a spice um but it's like a tad poisonous and it's like <laughs> you probably you probably are not very comfortable that night if you consume it but it's like some one of the only ways to really flavor the food besides salt um unless you're pretty rich and can afford all kinds of spices and whatnot um so yeah, this 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 catering thing here. I mean, you you're actually looking at the food and it looks pretty good. Like it smells uh, even better. Yeah. yeah I mean, just to eating. This is like a feast here. Like this is pretty legit. Um, so after noticing that mostly all the seasoning that here is salt, um, I, I want to do just one more check before we get there. Do I know if Reaper interacts with sodium, with salt? Um, yeah. Good or question. Give good. me a logic check um, plus your chemistry. 18. 18. Um, it uh, it does not interact with salt. Okay. Um, if anything, it just kind of it just kind of uh, it has a sort of an acidic reaction in general to uh, to the food. It's a very powerful kind of acid. And uh, that'll be it. I'll just uh, just sit back down, put that vial of Reaper back in the bag, and uh, just wait until we get there. All right. Um, outside, uh, you guys sort of see this nightscape of Crash City. It is, um, a sort of bleak and dystopian look. There's little pockets of rain that occur. Um, I feel like there's, it's sort of similar to, um, like a Florida kind of, um, way that the rain works down there it's like really intense rain for like five minutes and then it just won't rain like it just instantly stops um and it's a downpour um that happens so um there's a sort of like pockets of rain and things that that happen along the way um but very briefly just this sort of 
shower that'll come down quickly and, and, and violently. And um, you guys can see various sorts of like streaking debris throughout the sky. I feel like the night sky is very beautiful. Um, it's It's got like this various gases and things that are moving throughout Crash City, the sort of there's a definitely like a methane kind of smell that kind of happens every now and again, but um, the, the the night sky is beautiful in general. You just see like little trailing pieces of flaming debris, almost looking like shooting stars making its way through the sky. Um, lights sort of are all around you. You guys can see the that a lot of buildings are made from the husks of old starships um, that have sort of been formed into buildings. Um, in the uptown area where you guys are currently located, we can bring up the map here. Um, just one thing. When the rain hits the windshield, you know people who never put water in their wash bottles? Yeah. So when it rains a little bit, it kind of smudges and clears the screen just a little bit so the windscreen looks a little bit cleaner. But only on the driver's side, the other one is just sm smearing like mud and oil across the, the passenger side of the windscreen. Um... Yeah, it's it's a it's a just a, a horrible mush of of grimy water that gets run across um, your your shit heaps uh, windscreen, and um, the the streets in general here on in in uptown um, are probably like a little bit fancier. It's probably like in the the sort of higher end portions of Crash City. Um, slightly more wealthy than, say, the rafters. Uh, rafters is kind of where most of the poor people live in, in Crash City. It's, it's a very, um, it's kind of the first, it was kind of like the first settled area of Crash City. Um, and it's very dilapidated and everything's built on top of each other. There's a lot of, like, overhanging, um, sort of, parts of buildings that connect to other buildings and it's almost like a maze um there is heavy 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 criminal activity all throughout rafters um and it's uh it's a place where people go to like get lost in themselves and whatnot um there are these uh sort of large elevated highways that are positioned all through crash city those are kind of the the very um uh those are like the, 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 the sort of brighter gray um, areas that, that stand out on the map. Um, and uh, there's also, of course, uh, hover vehicles and anti-gravity vehicles that are um, present as well. They're quite a bit more expensive than your standard fare of, of automobiles and, and whatnot. Um, and you can see that there are um, there's various vehicles sort of flying through the sky. You can hear the... Um, sounds of these anti-grav pads that sort of look like um, sort of circles that have their own sort of ports on on the hover vehicles and cars and things that are moving around. They look like discs sort of inserted in there, usually with some sort of um, glow to them. Um, and usually anything that's kind of underneath the vehicle between it and the, the uh, place where the the anti-grav pads are going off. Um, there's like a little bit of damage that happens, so there's lots of people that just get shit on by like these hover cars and whatnot. Um, causes like a little bit of property damage like every time it flies by. Um, so there's there's like, you see people like getting out of their cars, like shaking their fists, like, hey, fuck you, like fucking rich bastards. You know, like they'll just be screaming at them and all, all the time. Um, there's just like a level of not giving a fuck that happens here um, by all of the, the rich people um, in, in Crash City, especially coming from corporate suburbia. Um, as you make your way to the warehouse, you see these sites of Crash City. Um, I'm driving a little bit over the comfortable speed. You know, you know that there's that speed that's comfortable and it's like nice and calm. I'm just just over that, so I don't know one, how my one hand on the cool. steering wheel. Yeah, and my foot's a little bit further down than it should be. I'm so glad I'm not riding with you now. Um, and if there's any debris that doesn't look important, I probably won't swerve to miss it. Yeah, there's there's probably a few times that 
that combo will sort of like hop up onto the curve, uh, Kel Solis. Like it'll just be like. Doom. I like this, this, this pedestrian's there. Get out of the fucking way! I've got the kids in a car! From the back of the vehicle, you hear a. The crate's jouncing around. <laughs> oh, uh, Amber, you can take the klepto now. I turn on my comms. Boop. You can fucking use the comms, you may. Huh? What's. Oh, oh! Hi! Hi! Oh, you're great teaching me how to use this. Okay, hello! Yes, it's very Turn my comms off. <laughs> so, if you wouldn't mind, just, just kind of not being so bumpy, that'd be... Oh, you please. took them already, didn't you? You said on the way, you said on the way, you said I could have them on the way, you said I could have them on the way, look, 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 you said I could have them on the way, and, you, and we're on the way, so I, I think we're nearly there, like, we're nearly there, so you said I could have them when we were nearly there. Are we nearly there yet? I well, yes, but I did yes, specifically... Okay. Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I get to punch cameras! Yeah, I mute, I mute my, my bad. Uh, is I'm she with... already fucking tweaking? Yes. We, uh, th this is the point where you have to be quiet so you don't blow your cover. Oh, gosh, okay. Uh, hmm. Just listen for your instructions, okay? Okay. I speed up because I don't want this shit to run out. Uh, okay. Amber begins to hold her breath. Um, okay, so uh, you make your way to the warehouse. Uh, outside, you can see that it's got a sort of, uh, it's got a, a tall cement wall with uh, barbed wire around it. You can see, like, various, like, lights and things um, sort of positioned around the wall. And there are, um, there are, uh, like, little notices um, sort of posted underneath the lights. Um as the barbed wire kind of wraps around the wall. Um, and um, outside the building, you can see um, Monarch shipping. Um, we get it done. I don't slow down when we get there because I'm going to drive past and I want to go around and give it a once over. So I'll go a little bit slower than my speed from before. Okay. Um, so give me an intuition check. Plus, it would just be perception for now. You don't really have anything else that might help you here. I'll oh, we'll keep the fucking eye out. I'm watching. Don't worry. Nine on A nine eight. from Combo. Roll, uh, roll um, yeah, uh, I think what happens is uh, you nearly like run somebody over as you're going around the block. Um, and they like have to dive for cover, and uh, the, the, you 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 can you hear them screaming like, "Hey, what the fuck!" Like uh, just just screaming their head off, like, "What the fuck is wrong with you, you fucking maniac?" Handbrake, and I stand on the brakes. No, no, no! The I, crate I... goes flying into the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> and I just. <laughs> Just double check. Oh yeah, I, I, I lean out of the um uh the the window and I look back and I just like grab a chain or something from like the passenger footwell and I just like slam it over the side of the door and just look at him. Okay, give oh, me oh. a uh, give me either a rep or a charisma check, please. None of those is good. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> I'm sorry, I made him. I did the I did the makeup first. And I'm like, yeah, that's not a sane person. <laughs> that's a five. Um, the person just kind of uh, like dust themselves off. They start to like walk up to the van. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, you fucking stupid? stupid. Open the door. You're not even it's on the combo. fucking road. You're on the sidewalk. You piece of shit. I, I get up, come. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have a job to do. Let's stick to it. Hmm? I'm sorry, sir. You can have your fun later. Hmm? I'm fucking back for you. Oh, oh right. A fucking thing. catering truck. Okay. Yeah, why don't you throw a fucking pie at me? I'll fucking let's kneecap go. you. Yeah, get out of the truck. Get out of oh, the truck. That's, that's How hard are you holding me? I'm, I'm, I'm holding you as hard as I can. <laughs> me too. I, I, 
I kind of want to get out of my car. Move my long legs over and push down the accelerator. <laughs> As I'm trying to get out, my foot. <laughs> Come on, Gumbo. I'll fucking have you. <sighs> Um, okay, so the, the so Fucking prick. Kelso Fuck. steps on your foot like on top of the gas and and uh, yeah um, the uh, the car like lurches forward the back uh, well it's it's probably four wheel drive so um, uh, yeah the, I guess the tires don't spin on four wheel drive I don't know how it works on four wheel drive you, you, can, you, know, you, can out, you can burn out on a yeah so they, they they probably spin like a little bit because combo's got his foot on the brake <laughs> so the the accelerator well, I was trying to get out of the car so as soon as I move my foot we just okay <laughs> all right so the car just like lurches forward there's a horrible lurch <laughs> forward Uh, slam the door shut. Hope you're okay, Amber. Hi, I really want to vomit. Can I vomit yet? Like, I really, really want no, to vomit. You have to keep it in. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll try. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. I'm going to check on the food. Is the food in one, in one, like, is it still edible? Like, is it still presentable after the handbrake and the, the turn and all this? Um, it's salvageable. It definitely looks worse. I didn't um, do it. I just stopped really Have you hard. ever have you ever gotten like a, a to go order of sushi? Yes, I have definitely done that many times. And you know where it just kind of like all falls on one side. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, you get that pizza with the right angle in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little bit of that going on right now. So you could kind of get it sort of shaped back. I guess I guess if you if sort of spoon it creatively, uh, it, it could it could be manageable. Should be salvageable, I think. Okay, let's uh, let's just get there, combo, huh? We're already fucking here. We want to case it out, make sure there's nothing going on. Mm. Like that prick back there. Let's, got see anything. let's uh, let's just go to the gate and get in, huh? And let Kelsolis do the talking, please. And you just try and look happy. Just let me do the talking. I'm fucking ecstatic, mate. Good. I straighten myself out a little bit and get ready to do the talk. Okay. Go all the way around and then back to the gate. So, um, yeah. Uh, you're too angry to really get a read on the place, like, after what just yeah. happened. It just, it's just, it just kind of goes not well in general. Um, so you pull up to the gate. You can see that there's, like, a sort of... Um, there's a, like a, an electric, uh, there's like an electric, um, uh, portion of the gate that, you know, just kind of makes it slide away. And there's a little sort of like comm station there with a camera. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go up to it. Push any button, call button. Okay. Ding! Monarch shipping. Yes, it's uh, ODS Catering. We're here with, uh, well, I'll let you guess. Food delivery. You Pull bet. to the window and have your identification ready, please. Of course. Okay, and let's I start move on. The pockets of my uniform for the identification. <laughs> Sure. Um, yeah, there's uh, there's basically like uh, some badges uh, that you find inside each of your pockets um, that have like uh, they're sort of like those sort of generic employee badges um, that you'd find with most uh, most jobs requiring such things. Um, mm -mm. And my badge in hand. Yeah, the van sort of moves forward as the gate opens up. Um, you can see some light spilling forth. Um, from the, um, from the sort of, like, guard station that's here. Um, it's on the passenger side there, uh, for you, Kel Solis, um, yeah. as you, as you approach through. Um, Combo, I assume you stop at the, at the guard station? Yeah, when we get to the gate, I'm gonna drive as if I was driving a catering van. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm driving calmly now. Yeah. Okay. we're on a job. Sorry, I'm 
Uh, chat, is my microphone popping for you at all? Uh, it's popping Thanks. for the group. Not, not, not anymore. Okay. It's, it's it was, but it's not now. Okay. Um, so, um, the, uh, the van pulls up. You can see there's like two guards in there dressed in, um, corpse sec sort of uniform. Um, I did not work on these maps, Piranha Plant. Uh, I purchased these maps, um, just to be clear. Uh, I worked on the map for Crash City by itself. Um, so, the catering van moves up, and, uh, one of the guards sort of has, they have those bank, um, those sort of, like, bank drive through window kind of, uh, drawers that, uh, that's there. And, uh, the drawer kind of, like, retracts. Uh, you hear this, like, tinny sound of their voices come through the speakers, and you hear, like, please place your identification in the tray. Of course. I drop it in. Drawer cycles back. You can see the guard take it out, and he holds it up to, like, some ID scanner or something. He, like, waves it around in front of there. And then you hear him say, uh, you hear him say, uh, all right, IDs seem to check out. Uh, please pull the van around to the back. No problem. Thank you. I am. Uh, take the ID back. I just gave combo a nod. Yeah, and then I'll just calmly. Okay. As we slowly pull away to like kind of out of line of sight of the guards, I want to look at my badge. Is there a name on it? Or are they just blank badges? Uh, there are names on them. Yes. Um, each of them has a name. Um. <clears throat> so, uh, Kel Solis, yours says Leaf Avant. Leaf Avant. Okay. And combo, yours says <laughs> this is this is a name that Peachy would pick for himself normally. Vance O'Heron. I could easily see Peachy picking a name like this, IRL. Um, and your name uh, on yours, Lucius, says Dylan Wildner. Remember um, these names, if you can. Or More just nice. easy. Okay. Uh, the uh -huh. van pulls around. Uh, where are you heading? Uh, around the back where uh, we were shown on the blueprint. Sure. Where is that? Well, I know what it is, but do you want my character to roll for it? Uh, no. It can be based on yours. Yeah, it was uh, B. Okay. Loading Bay B. Head on over to Loading Bay B. Pulling up right to about here. I uh, push my comms quickly. Uh, the truck is in position. We're ready to unload. Um, okay. So, uh, you hear uh, Ursula. You hear a Duchess come over the comms, and uh, she says, "That is good. In approximately two minutes, Lillian will arrive, or should I say, Marilyn Kinnear? Marilyn, are you aware of what you need to do? We need to find the main security room, and I'll use your device." to disable their drones to help the alarm and crime disabling. This is correct, Duchess, ma'am. Excellent. Could you give me on this data device the names of their security systems? I will need to feel informed of the devices they have in-house based on the stuff that the woman that you tortured they will be using proprietary security software. You'll feel free to question them about it in an aggressive manner. 
It is what an Inhari executive would do. Sure, sure. I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Uh, would you like us to move in now, Duchess? Yes, move through as planned. The timer is starting now. Okay. And uh, she says, And Lillian, remember to exude confidence. Yes, Duchess. Okay, let's get unloaded. Um, before I get out of the vehicle, I'm going to grab the vials of Reaper and put it into my uniform so I don't have to bring my medical bag with me. Okay. Uh, and, um, let me help you with that. With what specific? Just to make sure that they're uh, part of it. Part uh, of it. Oh, don't okay. I you take can... the vials from him and I talk them in a few places that are... Uh, well, a bit better spots. Mm -hmm. Those places don't catch the eye as easily. Are going to open the fucking gate or are we sitting out here? Well, let's get the trays ready and the carts. Yeah, yeah we I'm get sure the carts. Do they are? Hey, assume onto dollies or something. A pallet truck. Question, uh, Whack, is this like a full garage door or is it like a hatch? Um, I'd say it's like a half garage door. Um, yeah, there it's it's not. Uh, I I think that the the these these two bays here are probably a little bit smaller than the uh, the ones up to the northern section there. And besides, this is just a hollow projector, right? You don't necessarily have a door that can kind of like pull up. Or mm. you know, you don't you don't have a double door in the back like you'd probably see on no, a van like this. Yeah, I was wondering if uh, it was a drive-in kind of deal. Mm. Some of the loading bays are. I mean, there's loading bays in the in further back there that are. Mm. But these um, ones are. Specific. If the uh, the bay isn't open when we get there, I'll uh, give it a knock or see if there's a button to open it. Okay. We should unload beforehand as well. Oh yeah, yeah. After we've done that, of course. Gonna be honest, I thought we'd be driving in. It's probably best we don't, honestly. No, this is so good. The hologram will it would look like we're walking into a vehicle. Just so we don't make any mistakes. Amber, could you knock on your box just a little bit? Got it. Um, and you just hear like a little boot rattle against one of the boxes. Okay, I uh, I take that one. You take the other one, Lucius. Thank you. Am I strong enough to push this? To push what? The, the cart laden with food by myself. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's on wheels. I, I mean, it's. Me. I mean, it's not that much. You know, it's not like. Should a, be easy enough to push. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's not like a. You know, it's not like a metal drum or anything. You know, like a. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's probably just a. You know, like a crate worth of food for. I mean, with a building this size, I mean, you could probably assume that there's 10 to 20 people working here, maybe. So, oh, definitely. So it's, not, it's not that bad. No, yeah. it's not that bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then we head in through a B. Okay. Um, you rap on the sort of door, and uh, maybe like a minute later, the, 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 um, you'll, you'll sort of like hear the, like, and then like, uh, the, the, the uh, metal slatted sort of garage-like door will kind of roll up. Um, and let's do this. Um, yeah, inside you can see various crates and things all about. Um, there's a... Uh, uh, what looks to be like a corpse sack uh, officer kind of like uh, look your way as you're you're sort of wheeling in the, the supplies. You guys can drag your characters into where you think they'd be on the map here. Um, Kelsolis, uh, Combo, Lucius. You guys can place your characters down on the map. I'm going to run this way. It's... Let's have a squeeze. Yeah, I'm just going to follow Kelsolis. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing else for, to carry, right? They've got everything? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then I'm just going to um, just look through. 
from the truck and watch him. You're staying in the in the in the vehicle. Yeah, I mean, if there's nothing to carry, it looks a bit dumb. Me just walking behind them, supervising. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're very inconspicuous with that makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, sorry, I give a wave to the corpsick guy. Hello, good to see you. Uh, he, like, he'll walk up to you and, uh, say, uh, you, uh, you got the food for today? Yep, we are the, uh, the scurrier courier, you could say. <laughs> scurrier courier, I like it. It's good. Yeah. Is, uh, does the food only taste like jokes, or does it taste like, uh, I don't know. Does it taste well, good? <laughs> well, you don't have to cook. Uh, we're just a del- I just deliver it. Been thinking of that one all day. What do you think? It's good? Good joke? It's not bad. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. All right. The uh, cafeteria is right through there. Uh, just uh, head on up. I uh, just got to take a look at your badges here. Yeah, here you go. Uh, please give me a charisma check if you have yourself bluffing or disguise. You can go ahead and roll that. I will add a luck die also. A 13. That's three ones in there for uh, Mr. Kelsolis. And uh, a charisma check with bluffing. Charisma check plus bluffing. Well, I'm going to have to use a couple luck. I'll use a luck die on this. Okay. Oh. Nine plus. Come on. An additional five. Okay, a 14. 14. All right, fair enough. Let's see here. Oof. Oof. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Yeah, I think I've got a good comedy name, so... So Leaf he says... Jokes. So he's looking at your badge, and he says, This doesn't really look like you. Yeah. My wife says I'm starting to look bad, too, you know. How long ago was this picture taken? Oh. How long have I been working for uh, ODS now, Dylan? Well, you got hired on about four or five years ago, and that was the mm-hmm. last time they took our pictures. So. Something like that, yeah. Uh, dinner's getting cold. Your hair's a different color. Yeah. They didn't it's take a new picture? Gray. No. Huh. Probably good, huh? I'll speak no. to my supervisor. Actually, he's out in the, uh, he's out in the van there if you want to speak to him. Why don't you bring him out? I want to have a chat with him. Sure, but if I go... Sure, I can do that. I, uh, I start heading back out. And uh, as I get to the gate here, I, uh, uh, Vance, supervisor, uh, we have a, uh, a problem and one of the guards wants to see you if you could come uh, take care of that for us. Supervisor, right. Uh, yes, and, uh, uh, do you remember that there is a... Reports going back on these, so make a good impression, but uh, you know what I mean. I get out and I step in. Come on, you fucking muppets! We got seven more deliveries to do. You I'm fucking sorry. about for? Hey, sorry, sir, but uh, he was insistent that I that I come get you. Well, this one, all right, mate. Yeah. Uh, can we uh, deliver these while you're uh, speaking to my supervisor? Yeah, come on, hurry up! Oh, sorry, sir. Yes, I, I start walking with the, uh, with the crate around past the guy. Uh, combo, please give me. It's 
gonna be charisma. That's <laughs> driving. No. <laughs> Just straight up flat charisma. I don't think I can even pass this. 2d6, it's 5. Unless you use some luck dice, maybe. Oh, I forgot about luck die. I use luck die. It's a bit late now, I've rolled it. I'll allow it for this one time. Yeah! Okay. Both of them! 5 plus a 7. Okay. Uh, okay. I uh I drop the crate with uh amber in it. Oh uh, I get three luck behind. dice. Who changed my sheet? It probably updated automatically, I think it auto calculates it. I get one free luck die, but it seems you let me use two. Well fine. you get to use that's an exploit. It's not it, you basically get to choose one luck die roll that you make and add another luck die to it. So yeah. you have to already commit a luck die to yeah. that roll. I've already fucked up this roll. That's just not. <laughs> okay. Um, so the guard says, yeah, put the crate down there. Um, he looks a little bit kind of um, wary, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to do this in the cafeteria? We can serve up and you can have the conversation in there. Maybe over some food. All right. Scurrier okay. sounds pretty good right about now. The good stuff too. The night shift is uh, usually pretty quiet. Mm. Night shift, huh? What is the uh, what's the lady think of that? Any complaints? He looks at you, like leans in, and he's like, "Ladies." Oh. <laughs> he's not a good-looking guy at all. Like he's just <laughs> kind of. He's a bit. He's got a bit of a bit of a a, a paunch, and uh, he's uh, he's 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 like a little bit cross-eyed, just slightly, and um, he's not the brightest guy in the world. You can tell. Hmm. Some guys have all the luck, huh? Right. Right. Save some for the rest of us. Okay, so you uh, you plop the crate down. Mm -hmm. um, he says, "All right, all of you uh, head in over there." Here's the cafeteria. Yeah. Well, uh, what do I have to have of it first? Do you want to take that in there, Lucius? We'll serve up some of it. Sure, I'll uh, get the rest in a bit. And get it prepared. That's that. Let's go ahead and reveal more of this place. Yeah, while we're walking, I'm kind of taking a look around for uh, any uh, crates that look small enough, perhaps. That they'd have what Amber's looking for. Well, there's and essentially it, uh, look like weapon cases. It's, also. It, it, it's a yeah. warehouse, right? So there's basically like there's storage areas. You could you can see that there there are these heavy machines being operated uh, that are sort of like sorting various crates. They're they're like arms that come out like whoop, grabs the crate, like pulls it on. Another one comes out and drops another crate off, trying to organize it in various ways. Um, and there's an operator behind each of the machinery, uh, pieces of machinery. Um, they're pretty big, um, clunky machines that are moving through here. Um, you can see there's a, a lot of cameras that are all kind of strewn about various terminals uh, uh, across the whole facility here um, as you kind of like tap on the crate and, and make your way around. Lillian. Oh. Uh, Lillian. Uh, Sorry, as I'm walking to the thing, I just want to, um, as I come out of the blind spot that she pointed out, and before I go into the door, I'm just going to sort of, you know, do that thing, where you scratch your head a little bit. As yeah. I'm walking out of the blind spot and then into the room. Okay, and what, do you do anything as you're scr scratching your head? Well, no, I'm just, just, obs obs you're just trying to hide your face. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of cameras. Um, you can go ahead and give me an agility check. Um, plus stealth if you got it. I don't have anything like that. Uh, all three of you can do that. Okay. I can use my luck exploit <laughs> and, and use an extra die. Okay, I'll allow it this time. Um, basically, what, what, what you have to do with that exploit, and I guess I probably have to phrase it a little bit better, is um, you have to commit a luck die already. 
So it's like the second one is free. You know what I mean, Peachy? Peachy? Uh, it just, all it says is you can give yourself a bonus luck die once per day. Yeah, it's a bonus luck die. So the way that it'll work is, I have to phrase it a little bit differently. You have to commit one luck die and then you get a second one. But I'll allow it. We can say that you did it on the last one. Okay. Um, okay, so a 20 from Kel Solis with his agility plus stealth on a 5d6. Very nice. Um, can I lawyer for acrobatics? As in, I sort of like deftly walk myself in a way that I kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> really trying to, I don't have stealth. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say no, not in this case. Okay. Uh, a 15 total from combo on a on a 46, and a 12 on a 46 from Lucius. Okay. Uh, you guys head into the cafeteria. Meanwhile, uh, Lillian, you arrive in the limo up front. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. sorry, let's where the limo go. Sorry, I need to fix it. It's all stretched. <laughs> it's an extra stretch, just for me. Just saying. Okay. Uh, the limo pulls up outside, and uh, you are assisted by your uh, by your uptown royal associate, um, and um, the. Um, the wheelchair and everything is kind of set up for you as you head on out. Before he pushes me away from the car, I, I want to ask him what his name is. Um, mm -mm. Hunter. Hunter. Okay. Hunter, I'm going to refer to you quite a few times during this. Your role is very important, so don't mess it up, okay? I was instructed to wait outside. You have to come in. The point of this mission is going for me to tell them that I am training you on the security since obviously I am too old to continue this job for fucking forever. And you're going to help me convince them that you're understanding new equipment. They have to keep an inspector on hand at all times. Make a charisma check plus negotiating or persuasion. How about... I can do intimidate, or I can do negotiating. Yeah. Whatever you want. Okay. Boop. And I'm going to add in two luck dice. Two luck dice. Okay. Boop. It's a 23 on a 76. Not bad. Okay. Um, you're going to hear um, Duchess come over the comms, and she says. Just do as she says, Hunter. Whatever makes this easier. And he says, Jab Yes, awesome. yes, Duchess. You call me Mrs. Kinnear the entire time. He like, he like swallows really hard. Mrs. Kinnear. All right, Hunter, let's go. Wheel me in. Okay. Uh, you get wheeled in through the front door. And let's uh, bring you over here. You can, uh, I'll drag your Ellen DeGeneres character onto the sheet. <laughs> yes. Do I have Chucks on and do I dance with? Do you have what on, Chucks? Chucks, yeah, she always wears Converse. I did not know that. Or sneakers like it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Did you get dragged on? I can't see a damn thing. I don't huh? see it anywhere. It could be because I'm wearing it. bifocals to <laughs> try to have a normal Okay. Character. There we go. Okay. Sure. Okay. So down here, um, you get uh, brought in through the front door, and we need a goon associate. Hold on. Let's grab somebody. He's wearing a suit. Um, an expensive looking suit. Uh, 
let's use this one for now. Uh, you guys walk in. You can see a, uh, a woman behind the reception desk. And she says, uh, Good night. How can I help you? Good evening. I am Marilyn Kinnear. I am here to go through the regular in security inspection that you guys have rescheduled with me. However, um, it is now training point because, as you know, these jobs get increasingly more, ma well, how do I say, mundane to look at this stuff. So now I'm training Hunter to look through the security equipment too. We will need to see everything. Um, she says, what's your name? Marilyn Kinnear. You can call me Miss Kinnear, however. I'd never liked the first name. She says, Yes, Miss Kinnear, we have uh, you down for an appointment uh, at, um, well, right now, ma'am. Um, yeah, my time is limited. I need to see everything, please. Very well, ma'am. I'll, uh, I'll walk you through right here. Um, if you could make your way uh, through the door here. and uh, okay, let's go. Yes, Miss Kinnear. And uh, he sort of follows you a bit. Uh, he's just kind of pushing the pushing the wheelchair. Um, and let's reveal a little bit more here. When it's a weird shape, it makes it so much harder to reveal to you guys. Um, okay, so uh, she walks you through the door, and uh, she says, right this way. Um, when you walk through, uh, you can see in here there are um, there's several windows um, as well as uh, several doors on uh, either side. There's uh, two large um Two larger doors on the north and the south side, and um, there's like a like a, a weird looking office plant in the corner, uh, and um, you can see that there's there's two office doors to the north here, uh, right above you directly, and then further down the hall, there's uh, two doors on the western side, um, there and there, and uh, two doors here and here. Um, she says. Um, the room here is secured by motion sensors. You can see that uh, the the room itself is well protected. Uh, if anything were to happen to the glass, uh, immediately the drones that we have on establishment would be uh, would be deployed. It's also um, it's also to be noted that the motion sensors uh, will pick up any differential in the weight and it's sent to the security office yes this is the report that was how familiar are you with the requests that are sent to me i i was aware that they would have told you that the problem was within the s3d security deluxe with the drones that we are here to specifically inspect today is that right hunter uh yes you reviewed my emails right uh, You're supposed to review my emails before we come on inspection. Yes, yes, Miss Kinnear. The S three zero W deluxe. The S three zero W deluxe. Did you not order this for your drone system? We use a proprietary software here, ma'am. I need to see this software. It has not been upgraded to our deluxe. Immediately, please. Please roll a Charisma plus Bluffing. Okay, I'm gonna use my last luck die on this. Okie doke. Twenty-three again, with one less die this time. <laughs> 
Uh, okay. <clears throat> um, she says, uh, of course, uh, right this way. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Let's go, Hunter. Push me, please. Quickly, though, because I don't have enough time. Thank you. Um, and she says, uh, the northern office here is uh, where we uh, monitor our shipments and things. Uh, the, the office here is our security office. Um, you've sort of caught us at a strange time. Uh, I believe we've just gotten delivery. Our security officer usually goes on break right about now. Uh, let's see if he's in. Beep. Chuck, Chuck, are you uh, are you available? We have a we have a uh, Marilyn Kinnear here. She's supposed to be meeting with you. You hear a bramp. Uh, send her in. And uh, the door opens up. You can see uh, two terminals um, uh, on either side. And uh, one person sort of dressed in corpse sec uh, attire, uh, sort of on the terminal on the on the left side there. And she says, "Well, I'll leave you to it." And thank uh, you. You've been a, you've been a dear. Thank you. Have a nice evening. You as well. Thank you. She returns Are to you, her station. You're Chuck. She says across the room. That's my name. You don't seem familiar to me. Have you? Are you new with the system? I don't receive emails from you directly. I've been here for uh, five years. Mm. Do you sign your emails, to Charles? Yes. Ah, that's the difference. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Um, Chuck, I had a report come into my office. This is right. Hunt this is my trainee, Hunter. I'm sorry. I don't. I forget to introduce him. I'm so used to these jobs on my own. Um, Hunter, we got an email about an upgrade on your drone system, essentially increasing their security in high-risk situations. Upgrade? Uh, they're, they're it's new... necessary for our contract with the company that you're working with. They're, they're new drones. Why would we need an upgrade? You they're... know how data and technology get inundated. We, we have to change computers, data devices, drones, and their security system and software updates constantly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You do not that's... want to be the most updated on the system. That's not in our budget. That's not what we talked about. You you have a contract that which your security system software gets upgraded. We have to make sure you're secure. So it's not a new purchase. It is a requirement to keep your system updated. Now, hold on a minute. Uh, I wasn't told by my supervisor anything about this. Who's your supervisor? Uh, my, my supervisor, uh, are you gonna- Why are uh, you not the head security person if you're in I, charge I, of I this? I am for the, for this shift, uh, Crystal. Uh, I need you to go get your supervisor immediately, she, she's, please. I, I'm wasting my time she's, coming here. She's not here. I'm, I'm the supervisor for the night shift. Step out and make a call immediately. I'm not gonna, it's... This is dire. Do you know how much money you guys have keep secure here? How much devices, how much weaponry and systems that you guys have here that need to be secure? We know, that's our jobs, are to know. And we need to upgrade your system so it's at its maximum security immediately. So nighttime or not, you need to call your supervisor now. Please give me a charisma check. Okay. Plus, uh, intimidation. Sure. Boop. 26! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! It's like one less dice and she's rolling more <laughs> for each time. This is ridiculous. Uh, okay. Um, he just, he like, he shoot, he like jumps up. He, uh, yeah, yes, ma'am. And uh, you're wasting he, my time quicker, please. He he kind of uh, he he he's uh, he he like he's like fumbling about for his phone, like he drops it on the floor, he picks it up, um, and uh, he he says, "I'll I'll call uh, Miss Byrne right away." Okay, but please please step out. I don't I don't want to hear the nature of your call. It's within our security contract that I don't hear everything. Please. Yes, ma'am. And uh, he he like walks out into the hallway, um, and uh, starts to make like a harried call. All right, and while he's gone, I'm going to go ahead and do the upgrade to the system to where the drones will not be activated if it's triggered. Sure. Um, okay. So while this is going on, 
Uh, Amber, you you can you can you sort of hear the tap on the crate um, from uh, Kel Solis and and Combo and Lucius, and you can hear their like muffled voices like walk uh, walk past you. Yeah. Um, what do you do? Okay, so I'm gonna. Mm. Okay, um, I'm going to think about where that blind spot is, um, and I'm gonna come out of the crate and work out on this pillar here if the camera that I think is on this side is gonna spot me if I come to this terminal here, and I'm also gonna see if the camera that I think is on this pillar here is gonna spot me if I come to this terminal here. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check. It's located under your movement um, on your okay. character sheet on the right. Uh, give me a second. I don't understand this character. Well, I do understand this character sheet. You know what I mean. And... Perception! Alright. A 13. Okay. Um, a 13. Um, okay. So you're trying to work out basically the best way for you to run between cameras. I wanna, um, I wanna interact with, because based on the on the plan that I've seen, um, I need to get my map back up and I can't find any of my tabs. Sorry. Um, based on the thing that I've seen, I think if I can switch off either this camera or this camera down here, I have a pretty safe route across to here. But I need to work out which way they're facing as to which terminal I take out so that I can jump across. Okay. Um, fair enough. Okay. And now give me a stealth check, please. Stealth uh, plus your agility. Uh, <laughs> Where is that on? It's on the skills, my... the top left. Oh, I don't have stealth. Okay. Yeah, you, yeah, you do. I do? Yep. Und oh, it's I under do! Your skills. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay, a 27 on a 66. Uh, how are you rolling a 66? Uh, your cap should be... Oh, you added one too many grades to scav. That's why. Yeah. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, too, you actually added way too many. Hold on. <laughs> did you... Do I think we did your numbers did right. Your character sheet we so went fast. We went through this. <laughs> no, this no, got we went through this. There you go. That's not my fault. No, That's she's totally you got the right you got the right number of attributes. You just for some reason you had another oh, you had well, like a knock... second uh second scab thing thrown in there. Okay, well we can knock one of the ones off there, right? So that's 26. Great. Okay, good. So it should be yeah, it should be this. Wait, no, it should be, there we go, 5d6, 5d6. <laughs> I feel like this this was different, because uh, I, I don't, I mm -hmm. checked it, it was fine. I haven't, I haven't messed with it. So it should be the four there at the end. Uh, or actually, no, it should be the six. Yeah, it should be the six. Um, okay, so that's a 21, which is still good, it's still great. Okay. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, so you're able to sort of determine the best time to move between the cameras and whatnot. And let's put you down. I think I got your character correct. Yes. Okay, that, is that the terminal that you were going to? Where were you going yes. to? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you try to, like, that's run. That's the camera that comes out the, this way, right? So, uh, there is no camera above this terminal. Oh, it's the one. It's that one, isn't it? Yeah, okay, there's, where does this terminal there's, go? there's a I camera tell? here and a camera here. Okay, well then I'm going to mash the shit out of this terminal then because I'm now panicked to hell because I thought there was one on each one because okay. my memory is rubbish. So I'm going to spend a luck die to just blow the hell out of this particular terminal. Okay. Um, you're going to spend a luck die to use your overload skill? Or your yeah. overload exploit? Okay. So the overload uh, overload exploit uh, is you can spend one of your luck dice to short circuit an electronic device within five feet of you for one minute. It takes you one minute to accomplish. And you begin now. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. You're uh, you're furiously sort of uh, pulling out wires and shit from this terminal. I think it's just it's just like a furious like you grab like a panel and just kind of like jimmy it open and then just start ripping wires out like furiously um and uh there's all kinds of like little short circuits and things that are happening um while this is going on uh the three of you in the cafeteria um you can see there's a few people in here um that were uh probably chatting maybe on their break or whatnot um and um they are uh sort of like staring at you guys as you guys bring in the food one of the one of the guys says um he says uh oh finally oh i'm so hungry i feel like i could eat like i don't know 14 scurriers well we'll uh, see what we have we'll just get it set up for you and uh let you know when it's ready okay um i'm in the room looking as relaxed as i can okay yeah, the, the Corpsec uh, guard is, he's definitely like eyeballing you guys. He's like trying to like look at the food and stuff. He's definitely like, you don't need an, you don't need any real insight to tell. He's like a little skeptical about this whole thing. Hey, uh, when you start laying the food out, I'm going to uh, get close to Lucius and I'm going to slip one of the vials off of him and then uh, put it in some of the food. Then I'll repeat that as we put the trays out. Each one. Just keep slipping them off where I planted them and then poisoning the food. Okay, so you're going to poison the food. But yeah, but I, as was, I was going to say, as you take a vial, it's like, I think I should be the one to, to season the uh, food, Leaf. Well, I'm better with my hands. Oh, this again, hurry up. I promise you, you Leaf, this, I am the expert with seasoning. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, so what I'll do instead is uh, slip the vial out and slip it into his hand. Perfect. Um, okay, give so me a I'm sleight of hand check, please, plus your agility. I don't have sleight of hand. I have stealth. stealth. Um, yeah, you can give me a stealth check. It's going to be harder, though. Sleight of hand is the optimal skill here. Yeah. I'll add uh, luck die on Tenus. Okay. A 37? What? 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 The Lord, is that? That was two exploding dice there? They don't even know you exist anymore. <laughs> How does that? It's That's double three? exploded. That was yeah. three, three explode. Wait. No, One, two, two, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. How come you're rolling the six? Is oh, six is from the luck die, yeah? Yeah, and okay. it exploded after. Yeah, and then yeah. it exploded it's twice. That was okay. a 17 total for one wow. luck die. Wow, wow. It's ridiculous. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no problem. Uh, you don't even notice him put it in your hand, uh, Lucius. Oh. Oh. He doesn't break eye contact at all. Like, it's just in your hand. You don't even feel it. Well, the, the second I, I, I get the vial in my hand, I, I immediately know what a vial feels like in my hand. I'm just kind of taken aback. But I'm going to quickly start. We're, it's almost like an um, automation line. He passes me a vial. I season some food. I, I place it off to the side. I'm, I'm sort of like... See if I can ping. I'm preparing the food in this corner, and as it's prepared, I'm just going to slide it down in this direction. Okay. Um, yeah. So Lucius, um, I would like you now. Then um, I'm going to need a an agility check plus your chemistry, please. Okay. Um, is this for all the poisonings, or each? Yes. Will go by, by, by no, we're not doing all. one for each. Just okay. one total roll. Okay, so chem plus agility. I'm going to make this a young roll. Um, so once a day, I can have any sixes explode due to my young age. And I'm also going to add my last luck die on this as well. Uh, I'll just roll it manually to type in with the exploding. Uh, 5d6. You put the exclamation mark at the end, right? Um, is 5d6 including your luck die? Or? No. So put your 6d6 yeah. then, huh? Yeah, may as well actually, considering that it's all exploding. Yeah. Thirty-three. Whoa! Holy cow! Look at that. There's another double explode. What? Or no? Wait. Who knows? Yeah. It could yeah, be. Double explode. Yeah. Five. How did that happen? 
due to the young exploit, which I reroll or I, I can add an extra six. Oh, for any for any of the sixes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So yeah, the lung the young exploit gives you a double six in there, and that gives you uh, an additional two dice, so thirty three. All right. All right. Um, you season the food. There's a slight like there's like a moment when the reaper like hits the food you could swear that it like almost seems to like shrink in a little bit like as it, as it touches the food like it has like an immediate sort of chemical effect uh once all once everything is laid out i'll uh, turn back and say the scurrier courier has delivered and i make a point to look at the other guys who haven't heard the joke yet see if i get a reaction they, they kind of, like, look at each other. One of the women is kind of, like, looking at you a little piteously. I look back to the first guard. You told me it was okay. He shrugs his shoulders. I uh, can't please everyone, I guess. Uh, grubs up everyone. Okay. Uh, we'll, uh... We'll be on our way, then. Uh, um, see you next time. And, uh... Yes, so, Amber... You start tearing all this wiring out, and uh, all of a sudden the terminal kind of like flashes. Like, <laughs> you see, uh, you kind of like look behind you as you're trying to like move around behind the terminal and shit, and the the cameras just kind of stop in position. You see them as they're rotating; they just stop. Okay, um, so I'm gonna comes really quickly over to uh, Lillian as I start kind of I'm, I'm going to start moving over um, following these these crates along the bottom. I'm going to start following along there and I'm going to I'm going to um, then we're going to comes over to Lillian to say I think I've got two cameras now just be careful in there okay they're going to start going blind. Sure we're and can, can you tell me how far along we are potentially whack on the disabling the drones yeah sure so you're you're getting you're set up like at the um at the security station you can hear um you can hear the uh corpsec officer uh the security officer outside uh miss burn i'm so sorry to i i know ma I, ma'am i i know ma ma'am uh ma'am i i i know i i was told by the y yes ma'am she's here now y yes yes ma'am i know i know yeah, and he's like walking, he's like pacing back and forth, you know, he's doing that nervous walk where he's like, oh, he's like holding the phone away from his head, you know, he's like, oh my god, I'm so fucked. He's making that kind of face, and um, you, uh, you, you just take this kind of phone-like device and just like lay it on top of the, on the security terminal. You, you start to see like on the screen... Um, you can, you see like, uh, you see device activated, detecting. Error. Mm -hmm. Error. 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 Um, Error. And like all these like pop-ups start like shooting up across the screen. Um, I'll call the Duchess. Um, Duchess, the error notifications um, should be the shutting down of the drones, am I correct? Yes, it will not take long for the drones to shut down. It will overload the security terminal with prompts and it will force the drones and their subroutines to cycle indefinitely. All it should right. only take a few moments. Sure. Hunter, would you please stand when in the line of sight between that security officer and myself, please? Thank you. He's uh, sort of positions himself in there, and uh, yeah, the security terminal. Like you could see it, like start to like, um, you could see like all these like warning notifications. It's just like an endless set of pop-ups that start showing up on the screen right now. You could see like it's slowing down the machine like heavily. You can see that the um, like the hard drive and and all the the CPU and everything is just like being overworked to death like it's just it's it, it's it's that it's that sign where everything's just going super slow now there's like one pop-up like every 20 seconds and just slowing down worse and worse every time 
Amber, it should only be a few more minutes on the drones. The security officer is completely incapacitated. It's good like. now. Like, the terminal is, is like, shit on right now. It did not take very long at all. Thank, thank you for doing your good work, but be careful. Be careful, darling, okay? That, that's fine. I got it. Um, I, I just, uh, so I'm going to run across uh, to maybe where I think the, the, the processing bit is, but I, I don't really know. Um, do you know if there are any guards stationed around the, uh, uh, between me and there? Uh, can you see any camera feeds or anything, or are they all down now? She's already knocked the, the uh, security terminal down. Um, okay. What I'd like for you to do is uh, move first off to the first spot you want to try to move to. Uh, I can't. You, you can't? Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, that's probably... How did you end up on the map layer? Wow. Okay, let's put you there. I don't know. Oh, Should be able you. to move it now. That's how stealthy she is. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and move on to... <laughs> Toy um, I'm going to try and move on to, like, this corner here, if I can. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. You don't see any guards in that vicinity. Okay, can I can I peek around? Because obviously all this is, is dark to me. Why can I not ping? Um, can I peek around sort of what I assume is a corner here? Sure. Give me a give me a perception check. Yes, of course. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, I love how easy these shoots are. A seven. I don't know what I I can't see it. <laughs> a seven. Um, Yay! On a 3d6. Uh, okay, yeah, you don't no, see anybody. Oh, that's so great! <laughs> you don't see anybody. Uh, okay, um, in that case, I'm going to assume it's safe to... Um, can I see any kind of uh, crates here to match the ones here? Um, let's change your color for your character. Black is not a good choice on this map. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm gonna change my pink colors to something slightly. There you, there you go. go. So you should be able to see now. Yeah. Um. So similarly to how this crate is here, is there? Can I see one kind of? Yeah. There's another row of crates. Uh. Like there's two more rows in this section here. Yeah. I meant like along the bottom. Uh. There's nothing there blocking your way along the wall there. Okay. Uh. In that case, I'm gonna try and hop across to. I can't do anything now. Uh, I'm going to try and hop across to this wall here. Sure. Um, as you do so, uh, a guard seems to walk past the uh, past your line of sight. He looks out of the corner of his eye. Ah, I'm going to run to the corner. Give me, give me a stealth check, please. Yes. Yes, of stealth course. Stealth plus your agility? Uh, in that case, because I can do... Because all the cameras are down and stuff now... Um, or I take it so I'm gonna put a luck die on that, I think. Okay. Stealth, submit, but put one of these in here. Go! I can't see what I've rolled. A 17? Did I roll any good? Is that. Is that I a 17? Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. Can we get some tables two okays in the chat, please? We'll find out on the next episode. Dun, dun, dun. So, um, you move to the next set of crates. Um, it's at this point that uh, Duchess says, Blow the wall. Breach, breach, breach. And you all hear this <laughs> massive explosion come from the northwestern portion of the warehouse. And... Mm. It uh, blasts off. We need a way better one. Nova? Yeah, there we go. Boom. Blasts off from the uh, northern section of the warehouse. And uh, the explosions uh, blast off. There's a sort of shaking noise as uh, most of the walls start to collapse. Uh and, uh, yeah, the, the three of you that are in the cafeteria, like, you're kind of, like, walking out at the same time, and you're kind of, I'm guessing, probably, like, tensed up as you hear this, like, breach, breach, breach. And um, up on the northern side, you can see a, 
uh, a s sort of uh, del like a, a semi truck that has bashed its way through part of the wall and debris is everywhere. You hear guards yelling, we've been breached, breached, breached. And uh, they start like raising up their guns and stuff. And that's where we're gonna end the session today. <gasps> Did they eat the food? Find out next week. <laughs> no, let's do it. 24 hours, let's go. Come on, till the next one. Oh no. <laughs> Can we run over somebody with a wheelchair? <laughs> yeah. speed. You can definitely try. You can definitely try. Uh, yeah. So good, good first session, everybody. Good job. Good job. Um, let's go around the room and do some shout-outs to wrap things up, please. Let's uh, let's head around the room, and do some shout-outs. Why don't we start off with uh, Zagonicus, please? Hello there, everyone. I'm Zagonicus. I played Kill Solis. Uh, I had a blast. It's a, it's a blast pun because they blew a hole in the wall, right? Hey. Uh, it was great fun. Uh, thank you guys for all that. Uh, ah! Thank you to my uh, fellow cast members for doing a great job role playing. And uh, if you guys enjoyed my role playing, follow here on Table Story because you'll find me here tomorrow and then the day after as well. One of those times I'm a tiefling warlock. And then the other time, I'm a chimp who steals shit and throws knives. So if that sounds fun, make sure you don't miss those. Uh, you can follow me, twitch.tv slash I've been playing a bunch of Magic the Gathering lately, and it's good fun. And uh, yeah, that's me for now. See you guys soon. Thank you very much. Um, yes, please make sure you follow all these wonderful people. Um, Pip, can you go next, please? Hello. Yes, I can. Hi. Uh, my name is Pip. Uh, thank you so much for having me on the show. I always have a blast doing these. these, these oh, I, I use the same joke. I'm sorry. Um, I always have a, I don't know, a really great time. Like, I don't know. I just, I have fun. I have fun and it's good. Um, thank you so much for having me. Toy, <laughs> tidy. It's pronounced um, tidy. Right? Ti tidy. Tidy. All right. Uh, oh, no. Um, yeah, no, thank you so much for having me. Uh, I'm Twitter, people people slash tiny pixels. Uh, we occasionally do baking streams and stuff. Uh, but the best place to follow me is on Twitter, where I talk about lots of video games. That's twitter.com forward slash tiny pixels, two X's, three X's. That, that'd be a different website. Fair enough. Simply. <laughs> Hello! Thank you for coming by and watching our content today on Table Store, where everything is explosively fun. I um, have had a great time today being a... <laughs> I just, I'm sorry, I'm not good at puns. I'm an old lady. No, I, um, I've had a good time today playing it timid and then also playing it a little bit um, aggressive. I think that's something that um, uh, Lillian will find fun and does find fun. I. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about future content. Like, we, I miss doing the serious-ish shows. I, I can't not be a full of fully, or I can't not be a somewhat goofy character here and there, so I'm sorry, Wag, but I, I'm enjoying it a whole bunch. But uh, I play Lillian Holtz, um, our face of the group. She uh, is the old lady unexpecting in the wheelchair. And um, if you ever want to see me make content on my channel, I am playing a lot of Pokemon Let's Go right now. Uh, I make paintings and I just goof off on most of these nights. So feel free to come by. And then, as Wax said, if you have a Twitch Prime subscription, use it here on this channel. Don't use it. Do, please, please support this channel so we can keep making shows and content like this. So, cool. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Peachy. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, you see this? You can't see it. You can't see it. My keyboard is down here. Okay. If you enjoyed this soundtrack, it just went out to patrons. Um, my patrons is uh, patreon.com forward slash peachy pixelate. And I stream on twitch.tv forward slash peachy pixelate where I am not a hideous monster. Unlike Combo. Unlike my other cast members who make puns. But you can pick up the, the soundtrack if you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Um, I, I had to make it in a week. I didn't get much sleep. And I think that bleeds into the music in a good way. So, yeah. yeah. And use your Twitch Prime for fuck's sake. On this channel. Right now. Thank you, Peachy. Bobby? 
What's up, guys? I'm Bobby. I played Lucius Clement here today, the uh, angsty young Belter Street Doc. This is a fantastic, fun episode. First show I've ever been on where it started, like, right in the heat of things, and I thought it was fantastic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys next week. And, uh, Wack, thanks again for everything. Another great show. No problem. No problem. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, chat, we appreciate you. Much love to you. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for being here. Thank you for um, lurking. Thank you for being chatty. Just thanks for being here. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, please go so show some love to our wonderful sponsor, Morris. Um, he is a wonderful human being that has... Uh, uh, been kind enough to sponsor some of our shows here on table story go check him out um it's based on his system uh that i'm creating a supplement for crash city for um if you guys really like the whole crash city thing um you know uh, i am working on the supplement we'll we'll sort of have that release for you it's mostly done like um i'm legit having somebody work on some artwork already for it and um it's gonna be hype it's gonna be hype Hope to release it. Hopefully, you guys are will enjoy it and play it in, in uh, your NEW games. Um, but if you like the show, if you like Table Story, go check out our sponsor, please. Go give Morris some love. Um, he loves to hear what you think on Twitter, too. Uh, he's uh, at Morris, M-O-R-R-U-S, on Twitter. Um, and uh, go check out his Patreon, patreon.com slash Morris and morris.podbean.com, where you can check out um, his wonderful podcast that he does, as well as listen to the MP3 versions of the show and uh, Sector 49 as well. Go check it out, and we'll uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us. Thank you to Bobby. Thank you, Peachy. Thank you, uh, Simply. Thank you, Tiny Pixels. Thank you, Zagoticus, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you, and we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody. Peace out. Good night. Goodbye, Tomorrow, we've got Spark of Eternity. Hopefully, we'll see you there, 2 p.m. Eastern. Later. Bye.